Alrighty, unboxing stream. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So we're gonna be unboxing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A lot of them. So we got some dual devastators. Yeah. Got this specifically because there's a bunch of guaranteed cards. In fact, if you remember right, all the cards that's in this is nothing but guaranteed cards. Those. Woo! Then we got some dual power because why not? Why the fuck not? Like I seen it is the only one there, so why not? Some good stuff, I guess. Anyway, that goes there. Goes out the binder, so the binder's gonna have a bunch of crap in it. So we put a lot of stuff into this binder. Hopefully, fill it and then buy a new binder later on. For now, I need to find my card sleeves. Oh, these are fucking. Oh, this one. It's gonna be an extra back sleeve. I'm gonna just take cards out of the sleeves for those later. Like, same later. But take all these cards of sleeves. More, oh, I should have bought more sleeves on it out there. But this is going to be for the extra, for the extra deck card, part of the special one. In fact, it's single. Oh, if I can find any more single out sleeves, it would be great. I don't think I have any more. Okay, so that's cool, yeah. So the first thing we're going to unbox here is probably the tin. The gold tin. I should probably be This thing's good. Oh, yeah. Bottom's also probably too high. So it's going to turn it to two. Fair not. In the meantime, I get my tablet and function. Fuck, dang, I make a deep enough cut. We'll just cut it here. That way. I think I should unbox each one once per so there's that there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use these white sleeves. The turquoise one is going to be for hero cards because I already have a hero deck. Um, copper cards, well, we'll figure it out. I'm going to take these out of their sleeves and swap them out for, these are just a bunch of other cards I need to like play somewhere else. Ugh. So, think about that. Hi yo, Angie. Ooh, look at that! Magician of Black Chaos Matt. That could be a little. I logged into Facebook on my tablet. So I can reply to everyone. I'm using my phone to stream, basically. Right there. We're gonna open this last. Because, like, guaranteed cards. Sarcophagus, gold sarcophagus. This is gonna be quite useful. It's 
gonna move this. Alrighty. So we got smokes watching now. We're gonna open up the first. First, yeah, we're opening the first one. My tablet. Nah, I forgot. I have looked at this before. What's in there? Look at that. I don't know if you can read that because of the background and stuff. You know, a bunch of cards. Figure it out as we go. Well, they're, what we do know is they're not all hollows. <laughs> that would be nice, but it's not gonna happen. <gasps> a vampire card! I'm going to give this to a friend of mine. So that's another card for her. Uh, but da but da but. It'd be nice if I had like a rare version of that. That'd be cool. Oh, Monarch Cart. That's cool. Oh, we already got some rares. Ooh, another Cyber Dragon Ziger. Ziger, whatever. I'm gonna have to. The German word, if I remember right. Put this in my Cyber Dragon deck for sure. So, that's going in there. I don't know where this um, incantation card will go. It's a psychic type. Yeah, I don't know. What does this say? Is Ritual Monster? Yes, it's Ritual Monsters. So, this will be a, another a card that gotta get sleeves. Panker Tops, I already have one of these. It's gonna get sleeves, so it's probably just gonna go behind the other one. This is a Celestial Observatory. That's cool. It's gonna go into um, any common card that I obviously don't give a shit about. But pretty, ooh, Gravekeeper Spiritualist. That's cute. Look at that. That's a little kitty cat mask right there. That's gonna go to a friend. Oh, Cupid Volley. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, so for the cards that I'm clearly. Well, actually, we'll just put these back in here. That's what we're gonna do. All the commons. The crap that basically I'm not gonna put a sleeve. Put into a sleeve, but we'll go into. My extra tin to have a bunch of random crap in it. Old crap. That's old crap, new crap, just a bunch of crap. So we're gonna put that there. Just aside. Got my half the crap. Go back into it soon. Alright. Another sleep. Uh let me go to I think Firefox is already logged for Facebook. Because I'm not trying to have it logged have Facebook logged into every fucking browser. That's not what I do. That's not how we roll. Ooh, Thunder Dragon Discharge. That's a nice card. Unfortunately, I don't run Thunder Dragons. I was so close to getting a rocket, um, a rocket rocket structure deck, but it's like, eh, I don't really need it. What is this? That was a fur hire. But it looks like a harpies of sorts. Hmm. Is that a card? Necrofusion! What is this for? It's a fusion card. I'm gonna put it over there because it's gonna probably be used for to go into a deck. This is some poison sword of sorts. I don't think I care much. It's not gonna go in a deck offhand. Ooh! Curse Cyber's Witch! Wait, the one I gave her isn't hollow. This one is. Well, it's probably like Axis Swap. Solomon Great Foxy! That's a fox. Um, I don't know what the hell is this. I'm not about to pronounce it, but it is rare. Uh, ultra rare at that. Cyber's Magician! Look at that! Gladiator Beast for hire. Boycott. <laughs> Boycotting. Like, boycotting things. World Legacy Struggle. Clock, whatever the hell toy star toy spar toy whatever yeah i don't know what it's a cyber so i don't think i'm actually use it for anything i'm gonna put that here throw it into the random bin 10. all right the last pack the go to copies i only purchased one per because i'm not into not in the business of buying multiple boxes of the same crap like uh I could but I'm not going to well I won't say could because it's not gonna happen that's an interesting dinosaur it's literally 3,000 attacks like look at that is it gonna focus camera focus 
There we are. 3,000 text for Dino. That's an interesting card. I have no idea what the hell this is, but, like, what animal is that? Part of my brain says, ooh, it's a cat, but my brain is also saying, I don't know what the hell that is. So, hmm, interesting. Got a random ass Leo. Um, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, is this, this is a cat? Seems like I have a lot of cat cards. This looks like a cat. I don't know. Put that over there. Ooh, well, it's a hollow, so it's going over there anyways. Uh, Nightmare Mermaid. What is this? Oh, it's a secret rare. That's nice. Um, Topologic. Yeah, I'm not about to read the rest of that. This is a Cyber Sense Ultra Rare. That's all that matters. Mirror Force Launcher. Yay. Finally, I have it. Solomon Greg, I don't really, I don't use Solomon Greg, so I don't really care. Sky Striker card, airspace area zero. I'm gonna need that because I, oh, another Sky Striker card. I'm gonna have to check those other um, packs because they probably have some Sky Strikers in there. I know, right? It is cute. Uh, Cyanet Fusion. Fusion summon one Cybers, oh, Fusion Monster. Do I even have a Cybers? I'm gonna put that to the side because I might. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what the hell this is. <laughs> like, the more, the more I look at it, it's like, uh, I want to say it's a cat, but it don't look like a cat. But there's so many different species of cats. I kind of want to look back at these go to copies because I want to see if there's any Sky Striker cards. Because if there is, they got to go in my ninja deck because I have Sky Striker Ray in there. With like a couple of sky track cards if I remember right. So we're just gonna look at this again. Look through these. Make sure I don't make sure I didn't skip anything. Because the chance of like, oh look, there's a sky tracker that I missed is a thing. Did I ever log in to Facebook? Uh, yep, here it is. About the gold thing. Wait. Oh. Um, whatever. Fun pal. Do, 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 do. None of these are sky strikers. So. That would pretty much mean the end of the gold sarcophagus. That's cool. Um. So this is Omega Pack 2019. This one, if I remember right. The mega tin, this older tin. I only have like two tins. Let me log in. Oh, I don't even have the name for it. Oh well, whatever. Um. Well, I shouldn't close this. I might need it later. So these need to be sleeved. I need to like angle this down more. There we are. Hopefully it doesn't go any further though. Yeah, because like the problem is that I wasn't picking up the other cards. So all of these are hollows or just need to be sleeved in the first place, like this vampire. Alright, so that needs to be sleeved. In this, these all need to be sleeved in special sleeves. That could be in clear. Special isk. Isk. Clear. Special. Um, clear. Wait. Yeah. These go in the deck. But this one goes in the deck. So that one's deck dependent. This one goes here. Oh, wait. No. That. It's not a special card, really. I mean, it's special, but it's not, like, on any of those. So, these are deck dependent. Make sure I ain't screw anything up. 
I'm very specific when it comes to sleeves. All right, so these are two, three. These three are going to someone. So we're gonna put those over there. These are all going in a binder. So for now, wait, why can't I log in? Oh, it's because what's the old password? Oh, <sighs> when the hell did it log out? Um, Oh, scratch it. I don't know what the hell my password is. Do I have it logged in on fucking Chrome? I'm trying to log into my um, Facebook on my tablet. Oh, I don't feel like doing is going all the way downstairs just to um, grab my login credentials. Logging, logging, log. There we go. At least it's logged in on Chrome. Fucking Firefox being a dumbass. Like, I'm not trying to re put my goddamn password. What kind of dumb shit is that? Trying to pull this up, make sure my tablet's muted. Inception. Let's not do that. All right, so that's gonna be set to the side. All right. God damn it. Um. Link monsters. Okay, cool. So these are going to get some sort of special sleeve. I might just use, start using the Kyber Corp sleeves as special sleeves. Um, these other couple of cards. I'm gonna swap cards out. Well, actually, we're gonna do card sleeves like later. But since I already have these in my hand, I'm gonna hurry and do it now. Those in there because it don't fucking matter. We want to sleeve these, but we can see them later. It's not like it's impending doom. Make sure I put that there. We're going to leave these in the cup. Unrelated question, but how many shoes do you have? I see more shoes than I got. Oh, okay, so I have two pair of military boots. So that's just one pair. Actually, I have three pair of military boots because one pair is went for winter, but they're downstairs. And then I have three or four pairs of gym shoes. I have no idea because two of them I don't wear anymore or one of them I have to throw away because they kind of like fuck with my um cat. They, they fuck with my legs. And then I have... Yeah. Oh, why is Cyber Dragon right there? Oh, because he was going, going in deck. <sighs> we'll just put it in there for now. And then I have, like, that pair of gym shoes right there is um my normal running shoes for when I'm on duty. The Under Armors are just casual walking shoes or whatever because they also hurt my legs so I fucking run in them for too long. Um, dress shoes for work. And then dress blue shoes. And then those... Um, Shoes over there, the tabby that look like boots, but they're tabby. Those are my tabby. <laughs> so, same tabby, I guess, if, you, if you're looking to martial arts or Naruto or any other Japanese thing or Asian thing, thing about. All right, so the cards that, ooh, look at that. A mirror force that's secret. Prismatic? I don't know if it's prismatic or secret. I don't know. But these are, um, they look like they have that prismatic glow to them. I know, right? You only really need, like, one pair to walk around with. That's how I was when I was, um, before I kind of, like, went to the army, basically. 
had one pair of gym shoes and like one pair of dress shoes, and that's about it. Like, look at people weird for having more. Then I look at myself nowadays like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so I got a red eyes alternative black dragon. That's pretty neat. Uh, Ragiki must reborn in Dimension Shifter. I have no idea where I'm going to use this. If you have no cards in your graveyard, quick, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard until the... What? Oh, it's banished instead. That's useful, I guess. Yeah. Are oh, you good? Yeah, all four of these, uh, five of these are shiny. They're um all the same rarity. I don't know which rarity it is. It looks like secret rare, but I could be wrong. But I think it's secret rare. I have to compare it to something that I know is prismatic secret rare. Which do I have a prismatic secret rare? That can compare it to you right off the bat. Cyber Dragon, come to me. Okay, so. Yeah, actually, my Cyber Dragon is prismatic. I think it's this one. Is it this one or the other one? I think it's this one. Because this, one, this one's double sleeved. So, this is my Cyber End Dragon. Yep, this one's prismatic. So, I don't know if you can see it. It has its, it has like a glare, like it actually has a glare that comes off onto the screen. That's interesting, I didn't know it does that. But it has a, um, its shine goes, bleeds all the way into the rest of the cards. I guess this one's prismatic and the other ones are just normal secret rare. Day. This has a shine shine on it. Like, it's reflective shine. Let me put that back in the sleeve before I like fuck it over. <laughs> Oh, I did not know it was that shiny. Um, let me know if my music's too loud, and then I can like turn the music down some because the music is basically just background sound, so I don't go insane because it's fucking silent. Um, this is my Cyber Dragon deck, which I'm not necessarily going to show off. The entire purpose of me grabbing this was to make sure that those are secret rare and not prismatic. Alright, so this Chimeratech I could take out of sleeve. And then I'm going to put... Where are you? My Cyber Dragon in. This is a... Yeah, this is secret rare. Yeah, it's secret rare. It's just secret rare. Now, I have another Cyber Dragon. Like, let me also put this into a sleeve because I don't like the idea of the Cyber Dragon just not being in this sleeve. I mean, granted, it is vanilla. I mean, common, but. Uh, yeah. Now, I have two Cyber Dragon Zygers. I'm going to need a blue sleeve so I can have this double. Um, do I have a spare blue? Not really a spare, but it's just one of those cards. Divine Wrath. I like Divine Wrath. It was perfect in my uh, machine decks. Just perfect. It worked for the time being. I'm double sleeving this because of my logic. So now I don't have to worry about having Link Monsters in this deck because now I have two! Yay! Happy. Very happy. Um, let me make sure I put that there. Are these, like, from different... Yeah, they are. Of course they are. Both first edition, too. That's kind of cool. But if I summon... When I summon a Zyger, I have to basically... Shit, I don't only have to be able to play, like... Because I'll have to put this one in the extra deck zone... I mean, in the extra zone here. And then have one card underneath it. And the card underneath it would have to be... I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because the card adjacent from it, like this here, like I could summon here. If I summon it before my, before my opponent, then I should be able to link summon to the space to the side. 
And then when I do that, then that will give me a space right here to summon and a space right here to summon, but none on this side, on the other side. That's interesting. I'm probably shitty, shitty as, as far as my explanation of that, because in order to actually explain it, you gotta like see the board or have a board in front of you. All right, I gotta take one of the Cyber Dragons out of here anyways, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, extra deck cards, because that's a lot of time spent towards other cards and I'm not trying to focus on deck specific, just having to unbox the other cards. So, that was a random thing. Oh, also, the Yugi deck. I don't think I can summon this though, the problem. Like, this could be in my, um, I could put this in my Kaiba deck. I don't want to. My, um, does it have a shine? I mean, it is shiny, but, like, I want to see if the, if the camera focus in on the Chaos Max. Oh, well, it's not. No, I'm sad. Oh, well. I don't know. But this is my Yugi deck. Which also has ninjas in it. Well, the ninjas are somewhere. But I don't think I have the chaos card for this in here. No, I do not. Okay. The chaos card is. Actually, no, I have a bunch of them, I think. I should, I should have, yeah, I should be able to put that in the deck. That shouldn't be a problem. The only problem now is that I have to switch a card out because these have specific sleeves and I can't just put random ass cards in here just because like, oh, well, that's cool. I'm gonna throw that in here, gooey. <laughs> no. So this is gonna take more thought because now I gotta actually like think of a card to take out. I might take Diffusion out. The Diffusion is not no, that useful. It's useful if I'm versus someone, but it's a side deck card more so, when you think about it. Like, oh, I'm going to put Diffusion, but do you know whether or not you're fighting someone who uses Fusions? I mean, I use Fusions up the ass. I got, like, Fusions, I think, in every other goddamn deck I own. It's yeah, I think I do have fu yeah, Fusions in every goddamn deck I own. Hmm. Interesting how that works. Uh probably should guess what um card talk about yeah all the shiny all right i'm gonna take diffusion out and save this in here and put this into the UV deck i'm gonna apologize again for uh going on tangent of regular uh, random ass cards that have nothing to do with the unboxing. Oh. Normally I just stream on Twitch call it a day. Um, so now I gotta do something about this diffusion. I'm gonna put this over here. Uh, this divine raft we just placed this up. Where's, I'm gonna put this over here. Focus on the unboxing. So this is going to be where common cards go and take this out of the sleeve. Take a couple of more cards out their sleeves. What does those like? All right, we're going to move this away. That's kind of technical garbage. So, now we will deal with the dual Devastators. Yeah, I do thoroughly enjoy this. Strangely enough, as it is, although I don't duel with anyone at all. It's just, I have, like, I have Yu-Gi-Oh! on my Switch. I have a PSP emulator um, on my phone that has, and I only basically play Yu-Gi-Oh! on it. I have like two different Yu-Gi-Oh games on there. One's Arc V, the other one's something else. 
uh, one of the previous arc uh, tag force games in the arc. Oh, since I'm opening dual devastators, because first I'll think of uh, 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 opening dual power first. But the gallery got the plastic off that, that's what we're gonna do. Side. Got that. Cardboard. Separator. This is basically you know, an, an empty box, basically. So we're going to have it like that. It's a big background. Mm. There. There, now I have to shoes in the back. So this is a. Um, Center of sort out how field center card has its own little shine to it. I'm gonna open this last because it has and all of these. Every, you, typically, as an, as everyone's told, like you buy three boxes of these so that you can have like a gajillion or a bit not gajillion, but so you can have like three ash blossoms and. Three of whatever other freaking random ass card you could think of that you probably need that you kind of don't, but because everybody and their mamas play them, you think you need them too. Bunch of shit that I'm not putting in all my goddamn decks. So I'm the type of person that I'm only buying one because I don't need like three copies of the same shit. Go for eight hours on this. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you actually see the timer on that? Uh, five hour stream, like literally five hours. Oh, look at that! So we got Ghost Ogre and Rabbit's uh, Snow Rabbit, uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, Ash Blossom. I already have Ash Blossom of, uh, in Joyous Spring. I'll just say of instead of and because it's kind of annoying to say and for these. Ghost Bell of Haunted Mansion, uh, Ghost Sister of Spooky. Dogwood? What the hell is a dogwood? Red blossoms from Underroot? Question mark. You're literally throwing off the naming convention. Ally of Justice. Uh, Brionic. Ice Bear. Horus! Oh, Horus! Oh, I have another red rose, uh, black rose dragon. That's interesting. I already have one. But the one I have, I think, is downstairs is gold rare, so. That's cool. Um, Clear wing. Fast dragon. He's a fast boy. He's a fast boy, I tell you. Stardust Spark Dragon. Sparkly Shiny. Uh Starlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Trashula. Trashula, whatever. Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Vermilion Dragon Mech. Oh, look at that mecha. Abyss Dweller. Number 101. Silent Horror Arc. Is that Arc? Wait, is that interesting? The R, K, and uh, A seems to be, like, do you, do you see that shit? Like, it's not, I don't know if you can focus, whatever. Um, I ain't about to pronounce this one, but it's a Sky Blaster Musketeer. Tornado Dragon! Alright, I don't necessarily want to like, keep cards in my hand. Because, um, yeah, I don't know about sleeving all of these. Yeah, I'm going to have to use these white sleeves. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. You know what? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're gonna open the Kaiba sleeves. We're gonna start sleeving shit. That's what we're gonna do. I didn't wanna, but I think this. So I don't have to cut it. I think there's supposed to be a groove here. I don't know if I can cut it. I'll just buy those sleeves later. What is good, Alphonse? My nigga, my nigga, my nigga. Look at that, this side. That one. Oh, there we are. There's a pocket. Alright. Alright, so... I'm gonna grab a couple of these out. Set that to the side. Yeah, I think this set is 30. I don't know how... I, I'll have to look at the receipt. I think I gave the receipt to my father to stretch, so... Question mark. <laughs> Like a literal, li literal question mark there, but like I know these are like thirty, and then this one is probably like thirty or so as well. This box, 
And then this 10, I forgot how much this costs. It's probably somewhere around 30. Yeah. Uh, there's, I don't think there's a way to get all Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but where's my binder? I tell you what, this binder is basically full. There's like a couple of pages that's not touched. Yeah, there's like probably two pages. That's like some some of these pages are aren't full, but yeah, there's pages that are empty. There's like a couple. Yeah, there's there's pages that are empty, but I like this box set had like all these freaking hollows, and all of these are shiny. Let me show you. Like all of these are um, ultra rare. So basically, like oh, you get your bang for your butt. Fuck, like literally. There can only be one. That's Highlander. Wire trap. All right, so I need cards that I'm gonna specifically put into a deck that I know. I'm going to use what is this dimensional barrier I don't know forbidden this one I think goes for I, I know what it's for it normally goes with the Azatov cards oh here we go super poly that's what I need I need this to go on my hero deck thank you uh, we got a sea turtle kaiju yeah all of these are Vanity's Fiend, that's nice. Ah, uh, another freaking pinker top. Yeah, I got like three of those now. Yeah, I feel some type of way. Karaya's here. So, do you got Exodia? I don't own Exodia. I don't think I own any pieces of Exodia. I have one that's supposed to be coming in the mail, but like, it's just that one. And it's a new Exodia, so it's not all that jump up and down about. Uh, Skull Dread. Oh, I have another one of these. Um, it's in the, um, it's in the binder. Tropoly. I'm not about to pronounce that. Bomber Dragon, basically. Deco Talker Extended. That's interesting. Gaia Spirit of Lightning. This is going to go into the Yugi deck. So we're going to put that there. Uh, I don't know if any of these recipes are going to go anywhere, like, specific. I don't think so. I'm definitely going to have to like figure out whether or not I can put these in a binder. Alright, so that's an entire stack of cards that need to go into your sleeves. Like, holy fucking hell, that's a lot. Uh, I'm about to open these. No, wait. I'm going to use the clear sleeves for like a lot. I'm going to use the Kaiba sleeves for extra deck cards. And the clear sleeves are going to be used for like everything else. This has to go into... Where's my hero deck? <laughs> I have my new deck boxes. You got three pieces of Exodia? Oh, that's nice. That was real nice. That's like, that's some grand spanking good shit right there. Alright, I could take over Destiny out. That's going in the deck immediately. This is my hero deck. I'm not about to go through it. Um, I have a live stream that's on Twitch. I have actually two streams on Twitch that covers Yu-Gi-Oh. One's a uh, five hour stream. I would not recommend watching it at all. It's literally five hours and then it's muted because Twitch muted it. Ugh. I put a sleep. I gotta put this in the sleep first. Yeah, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. As long as um, Facebook allows me to save it, then I'll upload it to YouTube for sure. Peace out, fam. I was gonna put this on the front. I'm kinda about to sort through the entire Yugi deck again. All right, so that was dual. Devastator, this has to go. Where's the extra? Do I have, like, he's gonna go in the back. And side deck. Um. 
What are these? Oh, all of these are from the same. Yeah, all these are from the same. Let's see. So, oh, let's put those to the side because that's a lot of hollows. Holy shit! I did not. Well, I, I knew. Oh, I forgot to open this. <laughs> Alright, so, so far we know there's, oh, they're all deck centers. That's nice, neat. We got a My Valentine and a Kaiba Boy. Mmm, Kaiba. Mmm, Kaiba Boy. Mmm. I'm coming for you, Kaiba Boy. So, Mas Maximilian Pegasus and My Valentine. If the camera would focus, that'd be great. There's some shiny to it on the border, the gold border. I don't think there's any other shiny going on with these cards, deck centers. So, that's kind of cool. It'd be cooler if one of these were Kaiba or Yugi, but oh well. My Valentine Pegasus is pretty cool. Um, I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do with these. I'll probably actually put them in the binder as well. But, we'll put those in the middle. That's going to go there. Um, so that's the end of the Dual Devastators. We'll put... Yeah, because he's going to bleed over. And I don't miss it when I'm going to bleed over. So we'll just grab a stack. Over here, the side. He sold it with the divider. Oh, there's some larger... It's okay. So we'll put that to the side. Grab the sleeves. Take a couple of more cards out. Their sleeves. Come out to sleeve up those um, other cards. Well, all those goddamn hollows for sure. But holy shit, that's a lot. Any wolf cards, cat cards, foxes, uh, vampires, witches. If I see them, they pretty much gotta get set to the side. Like if, if I'm not going to put them in a deck that I specifically run, then I'm gonna put them to the side because they're going to go to some friends. Same goes for uh, Blackwing. Alrighty, the last container to open. We have a dual Powell. Do I have all of it on the screen? Yeah, basically. So we're going to put that there. I think there's supposed to be six packs. Okay, so there's six packs here. Let's see what we got. Now I already have another, well, two other boards just like this um I'll show you the box after I see the back of this we got season two well series two and season series one so that's pretty damn cool Two other boxes that I have just like this. Um, legendary collection here. And this had three god cards, which I gave to my brother. That's a year and a half younger than me. Had um, six OG card packs. These cards that's in there right now is just random ass cards. I gotta take these 
blue sleeves. I'm going to grab a bunch of these, actually. I'm going to need these blue sleeves for cards that I'm going to have double sleeves. So, grab a couple of these out. Um, Brother-in-law text, but I am streaming, so I kind of don't want to reply right now because, yeah. So, they're going to have to, like, call. <laughs> Later. Are there people here or something? Ugh. Oh no, it's part of neighbors. How about so? What the fuck? The. All right, we're gonna set this box to the side. I want to show the other box. Didn't know there was a bunch of sleeves in here. If I knew that, I would have grabbed it. Um, where's the other box? Hmm, don't seem to be up here. Because another box I have is this one, but that's not the box I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for is Kaiba. Yeah, I think it's Kaiba. It's, yeah, it's like Kaiba. But I don't think it's down here. It's probably upstairs. I mean, it's probably downstairs. Unless it's upstairs, it's downstairs. Um, not down here, but in my room. Okay, so let's back to the side. That's better. That's probably gonna fall out. Please, and it doesn't. Oh, probably. Okay. So we're gonna open that last. We got six leaves, so well six packs. So we just grab one of these. There's five cards per pack. So less cards than the sarcophagus hat. I need the sarcophagus hat because it's pretty large. It had uh, uh 16 cards per pack. That's an odd number. I mean, sure, it's an even number, but it's odd because Studio normally has like, well, I don't know, there's like packs that have like nine cards in it or whatever. So we have Dark Magic Twin Burst, which I already own one of these. Double or nothing. I have no idea what the hell this would be useful for. Magician of Chaos. This is definitely going to the Yugi deck. So we're going to set that to the side. Righty Driver? I heard of this. I remember it, but I don't re recall really. And Link Disciple. What is Righty Driver? It goes to Machines. Machine Tuner. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that, but it's pretty interesting. So, some really good cards. If you lose me, either phone died or I passed out. No problem. You gotta sleep eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna put this dark magician, this dark magic. I think I already have this in the deck, so yeah, we're just gonna sleeve that. So we're gonna set this aside. Yeah. Actually, what I do is these are normally put this packs back in. One reason I didn't do so for the tin for that uh, gold sarcophagus is because the gold sarcophagus. Specifically, it's going to be used to, hold, to actually house other cards, probably, pretty much. So, what we got here is a Nature Beast, Material Beast, whatever. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. He's going to pound. Um, I have some Ancient Gear decks, but they're structured decks, so... That's definitely not going to be used. Heavenly Spheres, what's this? It's a Heretic card. That's interesting. Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. That's ultra interesting. The good thing is it gives no pointers to your enemy and it only works with dragons. Ooh. Requires two dragons. Okay. I'm about to look at this card, but uh like can can I put this in my you type of deck? Because my copy deck's predominantly just dragons and shit. Um, 
I don't know if I'm doing anything with that. Stardust Witch. Wish, wish, wish. And Mark of the Rose. Alright, none of these I'm putting in any specific deck. These two, I was thinking about it, but again, my Ancient Gear cards are like a structure deck and a, I think they're two structure decks or whatever. Of both decks that have Ancient Gear. Or gear-based cards or whatever. So that's cool. I mean, I could formulate those into a perfect deck instead of leaving two separate. All right, what we got here? Utopic. Wait, this is a U Utopia card. That's a base deck card. Hmm, that's cool. Um, uh, Necros, Mira, Ghost Ogre, and Snow Rabbit. A uh, Snow Rabbit. What does it say of? Because saying and snow rather like yeah. but um yeah this is interesting because i already have like one so drawing one by itself is interesting another heretic card so that's interesting none of the eternal soul i think it's in my binder but i don't think it's in my yugi deck so i don't think i'm gonna put this in my yugi deck i'm not sure um yeah so we're gonna put those there <laughs> Pretty cool cards indeed. And since they're all hollows, they're all going to get sleeves. Oh god. Oh god. That's a lot. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> it's a machine. That's for sure. It's some sort of genus, genus card or whatever. Booster Dragon. This requires rocket cards, which I was going to get a rocket deck today, but oh well. Um... Bond between teacher and student. And Trickster Holly Angel. That's pretty cool right there. Now I have a lot of Trickster cards, so I might actually make a Trickstar deck now that I have like a bunch of Trickstar cards for no goddamn reason. They're just all randomly piling up. That's an interesting concept to go into. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't fucking know. Probably won't. Cause I don't know. I know they. Yeah, I don't really know. Ex understand how they function. So, if I just random out, uh, there's another ultimate pound. Ooh, a heretic, King Atom. That's cool. Ash Blossom. I have a lot. I think now I have three Ash Blossoms. Perhaps. Shadal Construct. And Link Disciple. I don't know if I have enough cards to make a Shadal deck. I doubt it. And the last pack of Destiny. Thus far, I only have like one card out of this entire thing that I would actually put into a deck that I really own. Wait, isn't this supposed to be like. Oh, okay, I put multiples in this side. So this one over here. And the Raw Sphere mode. I already own one of these. Shining Draw. What the fuck would I... Oh, this goes to Utopia. Dark Calvary. This is Dark Magician and a Warrior type monster. This is definitely going into the Yugi deck. It seems like I got this pack and it's a dual power set and majority of the good cards are cards that I'm just going to put in the Yugi deck. Like, I've not drawn a single hero at all. Like, hey, anything for the heroes? Nothing. I was expecting or hoping... Now to get something for my heroes because I got a hero deck, you feel me? Uh, yeah, that's kind of depressing, kind of a letdown. I'd much rather would have hero cards, more heroes, than, you know, more cards. But Dark Calvary is a good card, and so is Magician of Chaos. So, I mean, you, you take what you can get, I guess. <laughs> it's just, like, goddamn. I guess it's a good thing I didn't get any Odd Eyes cards or whatever because I don't use them. In fact, I think I gave... Do I have another Odd Eyes deck? Yeah, I think I gave the Odd Eyes deck I owned away, so I will. And so all I would do is pretty much put them in the um... So yeah, these are going to get sleeved. I don't have to put them to the side or anything because it's already dealt with. Alright, now to open the guaranteed cards. Alternate art. Got Dark Magician. Neos. 
Stardust Dragon, Utopia, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, and Deco Talker. Not that I don't have a bunch of lower Deco Talkers or Talker like cards. Is it me or is the or the cards are different from many years ago? Oh, when they came out. Yeah, these are. Um, so this is okay. So dual power is basically a main deck or main monster trump card from every um from all the protagonists so you got your yugi your jaden yuki your um what the fuck is his name yusei fudo i forgot i think one of these is yuya i don't know which one and the other one i forgot the other nigga's name <laughs> in fact actually i don't know the last three protagonists names by memory at all because I have not watched any I, I didn't watch in the, the series that had the exceeds I didn't watch the series of the pendulums and I started to want to watch the rain series I might actually decide to go and watch it now that it's finished but yeah so these also gonna get sleeved pretty soon I'll put those aside that right way all right so what we're gonna sleeve first with these Kyber Corporation sleeves are the extra deck cards because extra deck um i think i'm gonna actually i gotta deal with the uv crap first because uh, this deck box has my yugi cards so it's a random ass deck literally it's basically random um a bunch of yugi cards or it's a Yugi themed deck more so than an actual functional deck. So you're not going to see like three copies of this and three copies of that. It's more like, oh, that's a cool Yugi card. Yeah, Yugi used that. Yeah, that's a cool card too. Yeah, that, that kind of logic. So um, what we're going to do here is put Magician of Chaos into this deck. Let me put that back in. Also, let me see. Any of these are like really special sleeves. Oh. So the sleeves for these are normally obelisk, and then here's the anomaly because this is a newer card to it. So preferably, if I can find more obelisk sleeves, then I'm gonna put these two guys into um, obelisk sleeves. So I have to search. I'll probably just take it from um, Cyber Dragon because Cyber Dragon uses Kyber Corporation sleeves. That's the sleeves I have for it. So, what we do in this part of the stream is when we get into the more boring part where I'm sleeving cards and then talking about cards, which I've been doing all the goddamn day. And then I'm also going to put them into the binder. And then some of these I'll pretty much put into a deck or put into heart sleeves. Look at that, Dark Edition. This is limited edition. I think I have a, in my binder, I think I have another one. I don't know how many diamonds, I think there's only one in here. Yo, no, there's two. I kind of want to switch this, yeah, we're going to switch this one out. I don't want to, but the only reason why we're going to do so is because we're putting the limited edition one into the deck. Now, this one I'm going to put into the binder, so I'm going to put it behind the other Dark Magician that I have. Uh, I forgot how many Dark Magicians I own. So this is my binder. I would sit it down, but because I'm only doing this quickly. So I have the Dark Magician here, which is limited edition. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't do that because I sleep. That's sealed. That's a sealed sleeve. Okay, so. Oh, no, this one's not really special. We'll just put it behind them. Yeah, we're just. No, actually, we'll just put them behind the um, extra deck card. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Okay, that's a better idea. So. I need to find. Let's grab this from Kaiba. I am from uh, Cyber Dragons. Where are these? 
this sleeve. And we're going to sleeve these two Cyber Dragons to there. So they can go back into the watch about. Actually, this one's kind of. I think I'll just take them out entirely. Slide this to the extras. Uh. I don't know. Oh, that's out of. Okay. So, what we want to do is. Move that. You into there. Foam and they dead. Thank you for letting me watch. Oh, you're most welcome. Say no. Uh, we have Dark Calvary. I have no idea where the hell I'm going to put him. He's a 2800, so he'll go above the Link Monster. Because Link Monster ain't got no. Like no, I mean, no defense, no way, so it doesn't really matter. And then we need to find a sleeve for this one. Um, okay. the Cyber Dragons. Alright, so... Deal with the Yugi cards for a bit. Um, 2600 for Gaia. Why is Gaia back here? Right, that's cool. Alright, so my Yugi deck has today two new extra deck cards, both being Gaia, Gaia based. That's cool. That's really cool. Um,. I think there was another card that got that added. It's supposed to be added. Oh, the Magician of Chaos. Got a Chaos Max earlier. So, Magician of Chaos and Chaos Max. Please. Magician of Chaos. Yeah, that's the new one. This Cyber Dragon card, KC. It's going to go on to the sleep. So, the problem with my Cyber Dragons. Is majority of these were well, the entire deck was going to be obelisk, but I think I'm gonna just transition all of them over to cyber. I mean, to the kyber corpse sleeves because they're more technical looking. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that today because I don't really play with my Yu Gi Oh cards to begin with, they kind of just get collected, thrown into the box kind of thing. Well, not into the box, but put into the deck box. I don't think there was any other cards I need to put into Cyber Dragon, so I can put this deck up. I've not drawn anything that's um, XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon or U Union Mach Machine Union Fusion kind of thing. So, actually, put this aside. I'll go over there next to the deck. Um, what are I doing here? Oh yeah, I gotta take a card out of the Yugi deck. And that's also a problem. What is that to fail? A card sleeve. Okay. So for this we wanna swap a card out. Which card? I have no idea. There's gonna be too many monsters. How many cards in here? There's like five. 10, 15. I'm counting my fives because it's easier. I'm dyslexic, so. <laughs> like, well, how are you in IT? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Why does it seem like there's less cards in here than shit? Oh, look at they're over there. That's why. I'm going to say, what the hell? I ain't got the entire deck in my hand. See? Um, 
Wait, do I have two giant soldier stones? Or oh, I'm just... Let me see. Because if I do, I'm taking one out. That's for sure. Like, I don't use giant soldier stone to begin with. It's a fucking normal monster. It's a rock monster. I don't need it. I don't think I use it for anything specifically. No. But it's Yugi themed. Yeah, I know. But so is like everything in this deck. Well, twin headed behemoth. I don't think I need it at all. But given the fact he, if I remember, he revives it himself, it's probably useful for her overall. Well, shit. I think I'm going to give her got, uh, giant soldier stone at this rate. Cause when I look at everything, I still got to put a um, chaos form into this deck. So if I can find that rock card, yeah, bombardment. It says send one rock monster from your deck to the graveyard. And given in fact it's one freaking monster, we're just gonna take this out anyways. I gotta take one card. Like that's one. Random card. I mean, it's useful when you think about it, because if I need to put a card in the graveyard, that's cool. But, yeah. It's not a rare card. I don't use Giant Soldier Stone. There's any card that I can think of that revolves around Giant Soldier Stone. I need one of these Kyber Box things. Because one of these have the goddamn chaos one. Which one have I? It will be the one that's hyperside. That's definitely not hyperside. So it's this Because I know I own multiple copies of chaos one because I remember right. Like nine of them or so came in this series. When I ordered uh, Legendary Duelist Kaiba, which is basically just the Kaiba set. I originally ordered only one, but I got two, so it's like, cool! I pre-ordered it. <laughs> I think this is the Cyber Dragon side. Yeah, it is. Why do I have a bunch of sleeves in here? Well, part of it is because of the division to keep sides divided. In fact, that, like, fuck. Well, that's spilled over. How the hell is the inside of the box of 30? I have no idea. That's, oh, here it is. Chaos form. See? You have, like, a jillion of these. So. Yeah, we'll definitely put one in at least because more than that is a bit much. I think I only have one in the Kyber deck anyways. But with the Kyber deck, I also have Black Left Soldier and like two uh, Blue Eyes Ritual monsters. So I have Chaos, Max, and Chaos in there. In fact, I'll show, show those. The differences or so between these two decks that I'm talking about, the Kaiba and the Yugi. Yugi boy! All right, so those two are being taken out in time. Let me move those to the front. Make sure no other random ass cards are in here. Alright, so I saw it. Let's grab the Kaiba. This deck box is fucked up because I had the had it next to some a, a bottle and well 
science could explain to you that. Like, hey, look, the bottle's wet. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> condensation and shit. Like, oh, that's great. I think it's condensation. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I'm in a Seaburn unit. Doesn't mean I actually know science terms all that well. Give or take that. These science shit on random. So, my Kaiba theme deck obviously has nothing but Kaiba sleeves. This deck is also thicker than the Yugi one because I remember right, this is nearing a 60 card deck or is a 60 card deck one or two. I don't fucking know. But it's, and it's not a solid deck because it's themed. So we have a bunch of Kaiba themed cards in here. Look at that. I think I had to order this cast form because I wanted to get a, uh, I don't know if I actually ordered this one, because this is from the movie pack. I think it just got it. But yeah. So we got a Chaos Dragon here. We're going to set aside the cards that are like mirrored, I guess. The Kaibu and... I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go into theme territory as opposed to like dealing with the other shit that we normally do. Um, on Twitch. Because my boy wanted to get a fucking eight hour stream, which I don't know about having. But, you know, it's possible, I guess. We look at it this way. That's a lot of. In fact, we're just gonna put all the specific. See, Black Luster doesn't go. Technically, it's supposed to be in the Yugi deck, but because. Uh, Dragon Master Knight is not going to be in the Yugi deck. Like, it's not going to fucking happen. Like, hey, where's that? Uh, majority of the deck, liter uh, majority of that card literally revolves around blue eyes. You might as well just put Black Lust Soldier in the fucking Dragon Master Knight into the fucking deck it belongs to. Like, nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Thank you, Critius. So, uh, I guess I'm going to grab every other have a card. Actually, it's only supposed to be grabbing the blue eyes. Look at that. Man's got three blue eyes on his. Like, that's just some fucking tight ass shit right there. That's some hell of shit. Like, you, you look at this deck. It's kind of empty. <laughs> I took all those cards out of it. Like, hey, what is this? Oh, this is a, quite a strong deck you have there. Yeah, a bunch of 3,000. Like, who the fuck runs this shit? Wait, there's a there's only one Chaos Form? I'm said, I'm, no, I said there was only one, but I did not actually think there was a, literally only one Chaos Form in here. Uh, yep, that seems about right. So there's only one Chaos Form in each deck. That's cool. Uh, so what we want to do is grab the Rituals. Yes, one. And all of these are rare of some sort. We got an ultimate rare uh, from the movie. We got a deep eyes, another from the movie. Blue eyes, alternative white dragon from the movie. Um, this is a secret rare spirit of white dragon. This is not from the movie. And a blue eyes white dragon that's also um not from the movie yeah all of these are from well one of these are from the uh, kaiba structure deck and then the other they're from i don't fucking know, I don't really care. like i think whatever and this is secret rare so blue eyes shining dragon so we got a deep eyes, which is basically blue eyes, shining dragons, alternative, if you think about it. Well, yeah, I guess you can think about it, because I think it requires you to have... No, this one doesn't require you to have ultimate dragon. It just, re like, one, re re whatever. It revolves around dragons. This is all this card says. You know, fucking dragons. Dragons, dragons, and more dragons. Big ass fucking dragons. 
Spirit of White. I think there's another um, main deck. Kaiba Dragon M. Should have pulled out. No, this one. Solid. Blue Eyes Solid Dragon. There's an elemental here, Solid Soldier, which I have. It's also quite solid. Those solid cards are really solid. Yeah, like there's a lot of fucking... Like, you look at this, there's barely any monsters in here. There's basically a bunch of fucking spells and traps. I need to, like, swap out a bunch of shit, really, when you think about it. I need weaker monsters to go into the deck. This is why this deck doesn't function. It's a theme deck, though. Yeah, but it doesn't really function. Like, you gotta, like, top deck cards and then agreed to some weird rules <laughs> that, that doesn't involve shuffling like eh, that's some um strange shit right there but yeah these are the blue eyes cards all right so i'm gonna take black west soldier out here and put them back in i remember right the black west soldier card uh, the fusion I mean, not fusion, the, um, virtual card. Yeah, it's in here. Okay. Shuffle those somewhat. Alright, let's split these. So, like, where's every other? Alright, now I gotta shuffle. All right, now with the Yugi saw oh, the extra deck. So this, we have five-headed dragon, or a be better name, five god dragon. I'm gonna put the link dragon. I'm definitely buying the link dragon. Like I might have to buy it single. There's a link god dragon. Like oh my lord, I have to buy an alternative ultimate dragon single as well because, like. I didn't know where the hell to get it. <laughs> so I was like, uh, do I want to buy a full 10 for it? I think it is a 10. I don't know. If like if it was a possible random pull, then I was like, yeah, no. I only want that one card. Twin Burst Dragon. I think I drew this one natively. Same for Neil's. For the Neil's blue eyes. I don't know. Burl's. Oh, this. this oh, my old baby. These two are added to this deck. Because, yeah, like, <laughs> why not? Um, let's look at the Yugi version, the Yugi extra deck, at least. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, yeah. So, on the Yugi side, we don't have that much bar. Like, <laughs> think about it. We have Gaia themed cards, so we have. Two, three Gaia theme cards. We got a um, two Joker based cards. Um, I can't say Dark Magician based because wait, what is this? Well, we'll say Black Luster. I mean Buster Blader thing for these two, but. Where's the other goddamn... Where's Amulet Dragon? Where he at? He should be in this goddamn deck. Where's he not in this deck? I know I have him. Hmm. I have a card missing. That should be in here. Like, yeah, I, sh I should have Amulet Dragon in here for sure. Unless the reason is why I don't have it is because I don't have Tamias in this deck. Um, where might this be? It might be in here. Legendary Dragon decks. Yep, it's Amulet Dragons in here. The reason why it's not being used is because... Actually, I don't know why. Is it because I have, like, if I have more than... If I have over 15 cards in here, then that would be a good explanation. Because these are all singular. So there are six cards here. Then we got these two. So that's eight. 
And these two, so that's 10. So that means we're gonna put these back into the deck. Because it doesn't make sense to take them out. And they're all, like, they all have the same size. So. I'm gonna have to put a sleeve on Tamias, because I don't think I ever pulled Tamias out of here. I got three Dark Magicians in this deck over here. Do I have a Dark Magician girl in my main deck? That's a good question. I pulled Tamias out. I know I didn't put, pull Tamias out originally, but it's like... I just have to turn off. All right, now I gotta search for a card to take out of this. That's hard. Uh, let's see, destroy as many spell cards your opponent controls as possible. Inflict five. Yeah, it's probably gonna stay. Kribo, that version of Kribo has to stay in here. Attack the moon. Once per turn, when battle when the battle position of a rock monster you control is changed you were not going to do that that's the card I was originally wanted to take out <laughs> we're taking attack the moon out for Tamias so that means we've taken three rock based cards out of the deck The main reason is because again I'm not rolling. I don't roll with these, no way. We're gonna put it into the legendary um legendary dragon deck instead. Just to put it somewhere. So I need to put this I think this is the attack order yeah, it is. So I wanna keep my attack order going. Now, if I don't have a Dark Magician Girl in this deck, which should be weird, then I need to put a Dark Magician Girl into this deck. I don't think I... Yeah, I do need to, because I'm going to have her fusion in there. I might as well have her in there, too. No, I don't have her in here. Oh, I do. Okay, so I'm not worrying about it. I already have one, so I don't need multiples. That's why we keep those. Alright. So, where's the other goddamn... Oh, it's down here. Chaos Max. I don't think I have... Wait, is Obelisk in the... No, yeah, obviously is, is with the, um, the, um, VWX, the, the Adru Z Dragon Catapult Cannon card series. So I think Chaos Max is the only one that's, like, really, really special. Uh, this is a cut one. So we have... The Chaos in the Max versions now. Magician of Chaos, Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, and Magician Black Chaos Max. I think there's a, well, no. I think, I don't know. Like, are these two supposed to be? This? I know they all revolve around Chaos One. That's cool. It was really cool that I got this one. I think, I don't know, one of these was supposed to be a, is a guaranteed card, or both of them are, I don't fucking know. It's cool because this, there's only one, there was literally only one dual powers at the um, target I went to. There was multiple gold sarcophagus, plus gold sarcophagus is 2019, so it's kind of expected. Um, the dual devastators, that's also kind of expected to have like a jillion of those there. But, you know, the fact that I, you know, found them, that's, that's kind of cool. 
It's a bit random. Yeah, I guess. I put this in the middle, one on the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom. Oh, wait. Why is there two at the top? Shit. Blockbuster is at the top. Yeah. Reshuffle. Alright, that's good enough. Somehow Chaos Farm managed to get the. Let's see if we can swatch that. DD Crow. Okay, we're gonna swap, swap that too. Alright, Keeper Dragon Magic. We, we can keep that there. Somehow Black Luster ended up at the top again. We're not even gonna shuffle this again. Fuck it. Oh, this is a decently easy summon. Oh, well, not really. Um. I think there was some Sky Striker cards, so we're gonna put these at a side. Because that's. No, wait, no. This is a Kyber deck. Kyber deck. I don't recall how, having anything else that I need to put in there. Like, the Kyber deck is predominantly the dragons. Also, because I lack monsters, I should probably go through this deck and revitalize it, like take a bunch of shit out, I don't, that shouldn't be in there. That's for another, I don't know if I'm do a video for that at all, putting uh, specific cards or whatever. Since I got a bunch of cards from Dual Devastator, that's kind of cool um, idea. I haven't put anything in the XYZ, was I going to put Horus in there? I don't know. Horus is not a machine, though. So, that's a problem. That and Horus is a synchro monster. Where's Horus? He's right here. Yeah, Horus is a synchro monster, a wyvern. Requires a tuner and this one random ass monster, basically. But this is nice. Like, that was a whoo, hefty, hefty set of cards that, um, are useful. Quite the purchase, indeed. Uh, what was I gonna do with that Dark Magician? Oh, uh, put that Dark Magician to the side. Put these in. In fact, I know where I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna put it into the legendary deck. because it's common. This is an attack order, so we'll put it the other double edition. Okay, now we need the sleeve cards. Oh, I also gotta put this into the... Uh, any of these going anything specific? No. I could make a Cybers deck. I mean, I have Cybers decks. I think I have like two or three Cybers decks. I think two. Oh, from the protagonists of Reigns. I think I have like two of them. Is it one or two? I don't know. Um, this. Neos. I'll probably swap. Yeah, I'm gonna swap the one I have for this one. If I could find it, that'd be great. Oh, he's right there, too. So, fuck, I don't want to like, swap it, swap it, though. It's still. Um, and then I don't want to open up the other sleeves. Just to swap. Yeah, we're just gonna swap it anyways. We're gonna put it into a clear sleeve. Exactly back where it was. The reason the attack order was the shuffle. Oh, this was shuffle. Oh, that's good. That is excellent. Did I ever put that uh, super poly in here? 
or not? Where did I put that? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I did, I did. Because I remember I took the, uh, a random Destiny Hero card out. Over, I think it was over Destiny. So now, oh, there it is. Yep, that's Super Poly right there. That was good. I was thinking of having to take Super Poly out of another deck. I think I own a random Super Poly. Problem is, there's no real reason to have Super Poly in that deck, because, like, It'll go good with like dark monsters because I know I have a destiny hero that fuses dark. That's in any order. Oh, somehow these two still ended up on top and bottom after I just shuffled. Like, and uh, just like, there what we get. Okay, that seems decent on the shuffle. I don't think there was any of the cards that need to go in here. Oh, there's cards that need to go Sky Strike. So. Put the ninjas there. Because I do recall grabbing some Sky Strikers. Ooh, that makes me happy to say. So in this deck somewhere there's Sky Strike Strikers. There's a lot of crap in here. Like there's so this deck is supposed to be just just ninja cards, but I decided to put Sky Strikers in there too because Sky Strikers and me women. Invoker sounds like a cool concept. Like I don't I haven't looked up what invokers are entirely, so I should probably do that. See there's that this is one of the original Ash bosses I have. I have another well I had another one that I gave to a friend of mine instead. I think it was a uh, Ultra Rare. It was like a thirty-five dollar card at the time, so I was like, yeah, you don't need to buy, you know, three copies of one individual card. I'll just give you one. Plus you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! in the first place, so it's like what? <laughs> oh. There's a lot of things that gets me with people like uh, you probably shouldn't say that you are going for something that you really aren't. Uh, did I ever put these? No, these are the easy cards. So, I know of them. These here. Now we're going to put them in the attack order. I don't know, a lot, some people just do, are trying to do too much at once, and that's why I'm glad I'm a very specific person. Like, I love Naruto, so therefore, I watch every episode of Naruto and read every chapter of Naruto. I've only actually recently started buying uh, Naruto merchandise because, like, a couple of years ago, or whatever, you, you go back a couple of years ago, I, like, I own two Naruto headbands. One was bought for me. I think. Yeah, one was gifted to me and the other one bought for me, so. In fact, I think, yeah, I, I think, this, whatever. Um, and then, as a martial artist, I naturally have a bunch of kunai and shit. Well, not naturally, I have a bunch of shuriken. The kunai I got l later on, collection-wise. Uh, it's, it's more of, like, as I go older, I become funds basically. I don't normally buy Naruto merch. But because another friend of mine has like an entire freaking house of <laughs> Naruto stuff. Like, hey look, you go into their room, there's Naruto stuff. You go go into their living room, there's Naruto stuff. Like, oh that's so freaking cool. Huh. Like I wonder why I don't do that. Yeah. I mean actually you come in the house it's a mix of predominantly my grandfather's stuff, man, because, um, well, my grandfather and father's stuff, basically. Like, over here where my TV is, TV's on that side, so that's where the sound is coming from, the music. And then I have a bunch of, I basically claimed the, I think it was a, it's a sound system that all my stuff is sitting on. But basically claimed everything that's on top of it because my father would otherwise throw it away, so therefore it's mine. <laughs> like, uh, oh, you ain't throwing that shit away. Um 
Like, it's useful. Like, there's a random ass ego, so ego, I'm army anyway, so that kind of, it goes, it goes with my theme, you feel me? It goes with my theme. All right, now I gotta find where the hell I do the damn sky strikers that I randomly placed. Oh, I think you're probably over here. Did I take them? Oh, I took them. All right, so I gotta find those random ass sky strikers. Ultra cool that I got Sky Striker cards. Ugh, let me look at these in the camera view. Mm. So it's not just my voice and music that is seen. A lot of this shit needs to, so I can stop touching it, needs to go like in sleeves immediately. So, we're gonna do separation, segregation. <coughs> uh, put this aside. We're separating everything. From the extra deck cards because extra deck cards get special sleeves while everything else gets clear sleeves basically because I like them but I don't like them that much uh, the ghost cards I always call them the ghost children um, I think I'm going to I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with them actually these are also going to get sleeved but I think I'm going to put those... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put those in the deck. Like, they're hand traps. So, like, they're, they're not really deck specific. They're kind of an abnormality to me. This clear wing card, card is cool. All these are cool. But, uh, these are extra deck cards. So, put those there. The extra deck cards. This is special because it's a pendulum. So it starts in the main deck and then it goes to extra deck. Did I like separate these properly? Wait, I think I did something. Oh no, they're right there. I'm about to panic. I'm not going to panic! This Cybers Witch needs to be set to the side because I remember it does a card that needs to Cyrus Magician. Put them there, I guess. The, yeah, these are the cards that I was gonna give. So those go over there. I don't know what the helmet did the sign at Fusion. I don't think there was a Cyrus monster that I use that is a fusion. Like, I don't think I even use Cypress Monsters, so... Question mark? A large question mark of that, so... Uh, Sky Striker cards. These two cards are Sky Striker, so... I'll set those. Oh, wait. Where's the Ninja deck? Where the hell's the damn Ninja deck? Oh, it's right here. I'm blind. Uh, Necrol Fusion. Uh, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on them from your graveyard face down, but it cannot attack this turn. Okay, so this is definitely going to go into the fu uh, yeah, this is going to go in my, in this deck. I gotta solve that card out. Cyanide Fusion? I don't know where the hell I'm about this. Because it is a plain card. We're just going to put this in here. Because I think this came from the Gold Scarface, right? MP um, 19. I think that's 2019. So, let me see. Yeah, same. Same series. Alright. So it's part of the gold sarcophagus. So it's going in there. They also have the um, Yusei Fudo 10 version of this. But I didn't grab it because I have not made a single deck that's around, that's around the Stardust Dragon series. And I don't really care for grabbing... Um, I mean, I got the sarcophagus. I mean, the, that one sarcophagus. And the dual power. But I'm very finicky when it comes to grabbing random 
for random cards. Because to me, it's like, okay, whatever I get out of this, something has to go into one of my main decks nowadays. Whereas originally, when I first started back to collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I was just basically grabbing packs of cards. Like, oh shit, let me grab this. Why are these separate? Like, why are these... I think this is going to go on the Cyber Dragon deck and then put it in there, that's why. Celestial Observation. Place one level six monster. Is um, Cyber Dragon level six or level five? Let's grab it and find out. Just a deck. Alright, so I grabbed the, yeah, there's my Drowning Mirror Force, and I have the Winged Dragon of Ra. This is a, I forgot what the hell rarity this one is, but is it the one with the stars? I think this one's dual term, I don't fucking know. I forgot which rarity that one is. Same for this Cyber Dragon. Like, that, th those are some random rarities. Storming and quaking the mirror force and then I'm putting the mirror force luncher into here I could have just threw this into the deck I believe So I want to just have these in cyber dragon. I mean not cyber cyber corp sleeve so I could just grab a cyber corp sleeve actually This came in the sarcophagus, so that's cool. See, sarcophagus is already getting my money's worth. Because the sets and stuff that I buy that's not really... Like, oh, I didn't get my money's worth on this. Like, those random structure decks that I have that I just... I own them because i seen them, so I just grab them. Basically for collection purposes. Not like, oh, this is going to be a deck for a deck right now. So I have a lot of cards that just like that for collective purposes, I guess. I'll buy a new binder. <laughs> Cause uh looking at all these um special cards making me go like, yep, you definitely need a new binder. These Oh, one's a um field spell. Let's see you can target I'm not gonna read all that. I know I don't have any Sky Striker Link monsters, so I probably have to break down them. And just order them. I'm about to look in the Sky Striker and Invoker cards. For now, I shouldn't be buying any more cards until for, for, like next month. Well, yeah, next month. Um, yeah, I think so, until like next month. I don't fucking know. Uh, what was I doing with these? Oh yeah, I gotta put these in here. Right now all the Sky Strikers are like in the same area in there. Yeah. So we'll just start over there. I only have like four Sky Striker cards. Sky Strikers is weird, because there's only like one main deck card. Well, there's two main deck monsters. But then basically asked my brain like, how do you function? Like what? What the hell? Like you, you always hear people talking about Sky Striker this, Sky Striker that, but it's like Sky Striker and what? Like what the fuck is this deck? Same goes for like Orcas or whatever fuck it's called. I go, well these are really good. This is a really good deck. No, that's not really a deck. <laughs> it's like Sky Striker and some other shit. And then there's only one main deck monster. So like what? Like uh. The um, there's a time series that originally had like I think three main deck cards, uh, main deck monsters, and then one I think one synchro originally, uh, rewinder. I think it's one or two synchros, I forgot, but 
like, okay, it's an archetype. Somehow they magically, Konami just magically threw an archetype out there. All right, this deck definitely has too many goddamn cards. So I have to take a card out. Like, there's no thing that's about it. Oh, I was supposed to see whether or not Cyber Dragon was a six star monster or um, five star. But I have a Cyber Dragon right here. Which is a five star, which means I'm not op uh, five star, which means I'm not opening my cyber dragon thing up again. I really don't want it. That's like a lot. So for this, we want to swap Necro Fusion into this. Huh? What can I possibly take out? It has to be something that's a duplicate, and preferably common. Dreamer stays because it's useful. Drink, draw a hand I can get rid of, but I specifically ordered it, so I guess I'll keep it in here. D cubed stays because it's like the three doggies. Wait, I don't think I have to swap this out. I think I dropped below 60. I think I did drop below 60. Diamond Dude, I'm gonna take out. Let's, let's face it, I'm taking Diamond Dude. There's no real reason to have Diamond Dude in here. Like, oh, well, but you can activate a spell card from the grid. Oh, actually, well, the days of people using fucking hand trap there two point five seconds. Um, probably is useful, but it's like you excavate a card from the top of your deck. And if it's a normal spell card, how many normal spell cards do I have? I think majority of the cards that's in here. Um, sp spell wise, but it's like it's not half of my deck is spell cards, so um, we're not, we're just not gonna. It'll take that out. Ain't even gonna argue the point. Put Necro Fusion in there. Ain't gonna make no fuss. Go here, put this back in the ring. Uh, for this though. Put um look at that diamond dude. We'll put diamond dude uh, where the hell can I put diamond dude? I think I'll just put him in here. Even though I ordered episode zero. The reason why he's um, in the side deck and not main deck, uh, not the extra deck, is because I don't have any water heroes. I kind of just ordered Absolute Zero just because, like, well, I don't have Absolute Zero. I need one of the cards that. Um, one of the hero cards that doesn't require specifically a elemental hero. Actually, in his case, I think it's just hero. I think it's a hero. Let me see. Yep, one hero, one water monster. Like, that's clean. Or absolute, rather. Absolutely clean, yeah, I guess. That's pretty sure. Fort. Alright. So, enough of that fuss. We have a bunch of cards sitting here that, uh, oh wait, oh, did not do this correctly. Didn't put the extra deck back. I keep doing that. Make sure there's no extra deck cards sitting there. Alright, so these two require me to get up in order to move them. So I'm gonna these over here just uh all right so the problem that we're seeing here is I have so we're gonna use these for extra deck cards which I think I already have some out so let's start on that now these these require 
our larger sleeves. I don't think these will work. If these work in the Kaiba sleeves, that'd be interesting. I heard these are supposed to go into Pokemon. Yeah, they go into Pokemon sleeves. Karma boy. Kind of cool that they made field centers. Like I don't know why they made, made they made field centers, but it's kind of cool. Also wonder when if they're gonna make a new Yu-Gi-Oh series because they're still making cards. Or will they stop making cards? Hmm, that's a good question. Given the fact that they just made well, who knows. If they make a new series, then that means new game. New games, which means new cards, which means new card series, which means a new rule set. Because thus far, yeah, let's grab this. When Yu Gi Oh was born, it was quite simple a bunch of random shit that no one understood, and then people started understanding. It's groovy. It had fusion, the only special card, special was the Egyptian God card. They were very special. Very fucking special. There's no... Unfortunately, there isn't any other divine beast or divine attribute monster in the entire freaking series of the game except for that came with the first generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! Second generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! focused a lot, I mean a lot, on fusion. So you had a bunch of Fusing going a, a lot of fusion going on. So you had like the the main protagonist there, Jaden Yuki. Uh, he used Elemental Heroes. That's a Elemental Hero Neos right there. Um, so the main series of Yu-Gi-Oh used normal. It started off using a bunch of normal monsters. There was a couple of effect monsters, but only a couple. And then it started having more and more as the series progressed, more and more effect monsters. There's fusion monsters, which, strangely enough, when they originally played Yu-Gi-Oh, you could summon flame swordsman without fusion. Hmm, interesting. And then, um, you had, yeah, you was able to main deck fusion summon. You weren't able to main deck summon, did I cut this? You weren't able to main deck summon ritual monsters, which is good. So you, they specifically had ritual monsters and ritual monsters. There are some loopholes and cards that never existed. Like there's another version of Five God Dragon, which if I remember right, which is a ritual version. But either way it goes. So they had no real, you know, nothing game breaking. Because it's, it's the series of Yu-Gi-Oh! itself. And then GX focused, had a bunch of different kinds of uh cards different archetypes new cards series and all that um a lot of cards that went out of play i don't recall much of the first generation of Yu oh having that much to do with out of play but i know gx had a bunch of out of play cards i think both series had out of play cards but neither one of them had like cards that's well, okay this one did because you could fuse from uh and, and put cards out of play and fuse from out of play and that was interesting. So it's whatever. Um, this one fu heavily focused on fusion. So majority of your rituals or whatever seemed like they were in first gen Yu-Gi-Oh! Or fa ran out the face of the earth. I don't fucking know. Eventually they picked rituals back up in Reigns. And I think other series of Yu-Gi-Oh! But I know they tried to heavily pick them back up in Reigns. I don't fucking know. I haven't watched these two series. I watched... Mm, the cool half of um, 5Ds, what I mean by cool half, I think I started 5Ds, cause I know I didn't watch from the beginning, I forgot where I started specifically, I think it was um, during with the, probably the Earthbound Immortals, I think I started there, or a little bit after, I forgot, but 5Ds um, introduced Synchro Summoning. And then later on it was Synchro Fusion. So you had 
So again, back with the fusions, but they they were fusing and they were synchro synchronizing. They were synchro synchro summoning monsters and then fusing them and all kinds of awesome cool ideas and cool shit that came out of it. So synchro fusion was a thing. There was a card for that. And then there's um, Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Zexel. Yeah, Zexel because Arc V is Arc Five. Um, then there was Yu-Gi-Oh Zexel, which revolves around with a bunch of exceed summoning. In fact, not even a bunch. It was the intro and had nothing but a bunch of fucking exceed. Like everybody had exceed summoning monster. Like every other deck you would think of. Like if you had a deck, you wanted to exceed summoning. You didn't really want to focus on synchro summoning as much. You're like, oh, I got tuners. No one really cares. You're gonna exceed summon over synchro summoning because both of these required you to have like two monsters, but this one required you to have a special ass monster. Where this one was like, oh, just two monsters, four plus four equals negative four. <laughs> like, oh, cool. And then you got pendulum summoning that came with Arc V. I can't explain pendulum summoning. Pendulum summoning is like some weird shit of magically. Okay, you just draw your normal five card hand or whatever. And then your opponent's turn, and then all of a sudden they have like an entire field of fucking monsters, and you're sitting there like, why do you have 50 gajillion monsters on the field instantaneously? But that also happens with Exceed Summoning, but with uh, Pendulums, their cards are monsters that doubled as spells, and then there's Pendulums that lived in the extra deck, so then they were Affect Exceed, or exceed spell? I don't fucking know. I don't, do I have a um, pendulum card that's like dual? I don't know if I do. But would, if I do, that, then I can explain it better. Uh, do I have an extra deck pendulum card? Oh, yes, I do. So spell and exceed. I mean, spell and synchro. Not like fusion synchro. Or a black and white card, so it's like green and white, as you can see. Like the green fades into white, or vice versa. He's a fast boy, a fast boy. Um, I should probably put this back there. So, you know, and then there's Yu-Gi-Oh brains, which have link monsters, which after that create is there like everybody in their mom literally has link monsters if you have a deck that doesn't have link monsters you're probably either not running extra deck cards and that's probably why you're not running link monsters because other than that is like there's no reason to not have a freaking link monster or at least exceed monster one or two because um yeah <laughs> them power like some of these aren't even strong they're just they allow you to summon your uh, extra deck cards because without these, you'd have decks like the hero deck, which would spam fusion, and you would have a board of nothing but heroes. Like, hey, what is that? Oh well, I'll fuse, I'll fuse these cards in my hand, and then I'll normal summon a monster to special summon another monster. Then now I'm supposed to summon a monster from my deck, and now I'm fusing, and I'm a fuse from my deck as well. And now I play future fusion to fuse, fuse from my deck from the future later on, and then top it all off i'm gonna fuse from the graveyard and put these cards out of play okay my next turn rolls around okay now i'm gonna uh, fuse from the out of play onto the field and now i end my turn oh and now here's my triggers my future fusion what, what the fuck is this shit there's five fusion monsters on the field i used to do that a lot actually um uh back in Yu-Gi-Oh tag force before Yu-Gi-Oh rants existed or link monsters existed I also dominate the field with a bunch of tuners so it is possible, it's just you got to focus your deck around. Um, specifically, the best thing to do would be you pick a boss monster. And we'll go for an extra deck card because that's what we're looking for. You pick a boss monster. Probably not one of these because I don't really understand how any of these. Okay, Stardust Dragon. No, wait, I can't explain Stardust. Oh, I can't really explain these. Not easily, because I can't explain synchros anymore. I used to. Back when I was actually using them. But, um, yeah, you pick a boss monster, right? Like, where's my hero deck? 
That's probably easier to explain. We're only going to deal with the um, extra deck cards. There's other... Yeah, you don't actually have to listen to this fucking explanation. This is a shitty ass explanation. Oh, I don't even have synchros in here, so I can't even explain it. Yeah, but either way it goes. The best way to build your deck is either around a theme or around your boss monster or boss monsters. So as you can see, I have Destiny Hero Dominance. Dominance is special. Uh, in order to summon them, you need three Destiny Heroes. It's not that much, but it's still three Destiny Heroes. But to summon Vision Hero Trinity, you need three heroes. Trinity is an easier sum easier thing to summon, but this deck predominantly has Destiny Heroes, so it's negligible. It's just... Well... It's not negligible, because I also have a bunch of vision heroes in this deck. I have a, few, a couple elemental heroes in this deck. But this deck is heavy towards darkness. So, with that being said, of this deck being heavy towards the dark attribute, I have... I mean, it's a hero deck, so hero decks with um, vision heroes. Vision heroes are all dark attribute monsters in the first place, so that's cool. And then Destiny Heroes, they're all Dark Attribute Monsters as well. So they synchronize with each other easily as far as that note goes. If you want to roll like a Dark Attribute set of crap. Oh, that's the card I'm missing. I'm, I'm missing, uh, I, I don't have the Dark um, Element of Hero Fusion. That's a, uh, what is it called? S something? I can't remember, but it's like it's like a Bubble Man. It's in the same series as Bubble Man, because Bubble Man's the water hero of it of that series. Either way it goes. Um, I'm supposed to be sleeping cards, not really talking about a bunch of random shit. So uh, we want to deal with the extra cards that I kept having in my hand and not sleeping. What I was supposed to do is sleeve them and then put them in the um, binder. So, yeah. I think I'll just sleeve them and then put them in the binder. Sleeve them, sort them by attribute, put them in binder. Yeah, that's probably sounds better to me. First, I still need to separate um, extra deck and non extra deck cards, basically. The reason why I'm doing this again, I'm going to reiterate this, is because my extra deck cards go, I mean, I have a thing for them to have specific sleeves or sleeves that aren't clear, whereas everything else gets a clear sleeve, basically. But they're special too, yes they are, but I don't really care all that much. Like, I do and I don't, because some of these will probably get a, uh, a better sleeve than others be just because they are of a higher rarity such as secret rare like if it's ultra rare, I mean if it's ultra rare now care I mean I care about it's not, it's not high priority whereas secret rare is like oh well I could double sleeve this kind of thing like if it's an extra deck card then I'll probably double sleeve it or if it's a card I really like or it's limited edition like oh these are limited edition so These aren't. Ally of Justice. This card I actually should put into my machine deck. And Catastor has that. Um, I don't know why I'm separating these. I think I want to sort them by rarity. I don't know why am I sorting cards. Oh, so let's, let's, let's sort them by attribute later. Um, oh, these two are probably going to, probably going to get special cities. I'm not sure. They're just going to go over there. I might give away that odd eyes. 
Yeah, I might get rid of that last. This one is correct. This one needs to go back in its two sleeves, so put that to the side over there. Uh, drop logic. Let's just do this shit. So I can stop staring at the same shit. I should put the limited edition cards in um, sealed sleeves. But we're just gonna do this. We'll probably double sleeve the limited edition ones. If I have enough um, blue sleeves for it, then we're gonna do that. In fact, we'll do that now. I reconnect. Oh. I guess my connection dropped on my phone. A second there. I'm gonna have to cook after I'm done with this stream. I normally stream this on um, Twitch because no one watches my shit, this shit, no way. But I thought I was streaming on YouTube, uh, Facebook because most people know me on Facebook anyway, so it's whatever. Um, yeah. So, what else do I want to do? I said I was done with the extra thing. Well, I actually already did that. I, okay, so, Niels already went into a deck. Dark Magician went into a deck. So, it's the Odd Eyes card that's not in anything. These can be sleeved. I mean, this could go on a binder. Where's that other fucking card? Oh, sorry. It's right there. I think I'm gonna double sleeve the, um... I don't know. When it comes to double sleeving cards, it's heavy. Like, this is a secret rare. But double sleeve sleeving also... I part will probably depend on whether or not I actually care about the card. So for limited edition cards, like, oh well, that's so cool. Whereas, I don't know, secret rare cards are cool too. But I have a lot of them that are not double sleeve, so. I have all of Oh, this is also a four. Well, I don't understand how things work, but it's like four point. That's four pointers. Links don't have stars. Instead, they have pointers. I think that's a and a good explanation for them. Is instead of having stars, they have pointers. And whereas the stars grant you to understand the level or rank of a monster. Lynx monsters have a value, if I understand it correctly, of like this one, Code Talk, Decode Talker, has a value of Link 3 and it has three arrows. I think that's how it's quantified. Um, it says two effect monsters, but that's also wonky because in game, in the Yu Gi Oh! game I play, on uh, Legacy of the Duelist. I think it's easier to explain by physically grabbing the physical cards of this. Because I understand how my fusion... I understand how my hero deck works. I don't understand how other <laughs> uh, link cards work. Okay, so... In Legacy of the Duelist... This, like I was saying about earlier about uh, like Deco Talker. Deco Talker is a... Where is he? He is a Link 3, right? Okay. So, it says two heroes, right? The problem with that is this requires you to rank up or use actually three heroes. Three heroes. Or I think it's like two heroes and probably one other card. Um, 
so with Extra Hero Wonder Driver, what I've noticed a thousand times, and this is why I summon Wonder Driver first, and then I summon Dread Decimator. The reasoning being is because Wonder Driver is a uh, link two, so it has two arrows, so there's one arrow that points down, so I can summon under Wonder Driver, or my enemy, my opponent, can summon above Wonder Driver. So on a field like this or whatever, they can play, they get to su summon a uh, extra deck card here or here or here, depending on where the hell I have Wonder Driver. I have Wonder Driver on the left side, my left hand, and they could summon on their um, on their left hand or on this side. If I have Wonder Driver on this side, then they could summon on this side. Okay, cool. And then Link, and, or or they could summon above Wonder Driver because this slot now points to you. Whereas I get to extra deck summon from underneath Wonder Driver. Now, to explain why I was saying Decode Talker is wonky to me, is it says Link 3, right? It says a Link 3 monster. Let's see, Decode Talker. Deco Talker is a rank 3 monster, but it says 2 effect monsters. So, to explain that, I normally, when I'm playing a Legacy of the Duelist, I normally sum I normal, I, I summon extra hero Wonder Driver, because it's easy for me to use Solid Soldier with any other hero that's in my hand. Summon, special summon the other hero, and then I'll uh, Link Summon, or I'll use Malicious... Um, Evil Hero, I think it's Evil Hero. Evil Hero Malicious, and I'll uh, Link Summon Evil Hero Malicious and whatever other uh, hero monster that has special summon to the field or whatever, to summon Wonder Driver. And then I'll, since Wonder Driver took two monsters, you know, it's pointers, so that's where it, it, it points out to. Now I remember summon Dread Decimator without Wonder Driver. It strangely enough requires me to have three heroes. Or three monsters. Now, granted, when I use uh, Dread Dec Decimator, my entire freaking deck is comprised of nothing but heroes. There's no freaking random ass Link, Burrow, Burrow, or Dragon. No, nothing like that. So it's just straight up raw heroes. It's a hero deck, and I'm strict when it comes to my themes. I prefer to be strict when it comes to my themes, rather, not really lenient. So if I have a couple of, like, some people, they'll have, like, a, um, a Cyber Dragon deck, and then they have a bunch of other. Random ass light machine monsters, which works because if it balances out Cyber Dragon, balances out Cyber Dragon, and then you if you do something like that, then you probably have like multiples of X Y Z card whatever, so that's cool. But for a pure Cyber Dragon deck, then it's a pure Cyber Dragon deck. I run pure heroes, <laughs> and that's how I am. My other decks they're more like themed decks, like my uh, Ninja deck is a is themed around ninjas. But it also has Invoker, some other random shit, and it has Sky Striker, which I need to actually put Sky Striker cards in there if I'm going to actually roll that. And then also focus on putting Ninja cards back in there anyways. So, anywho, back in explanation of Link, Link Summoning. So, this normally would require three monsters, actually. I don't know if the third monster would be something that's not a hero, because it says it mandates that you have at least two heroes. So, two heroes. So what I normally do is summon extra hero Wonder Driver, and then I would link Wonder Driver with another hero, which Wonder Driver counts as two for whatever reason. I have no idea how that works. And then I get to summon Dread Decimator. Now, lucky for me, heroes don't have anything um, outside of Wonder Driver, Dread Decimator, and Cross Crusader. And Cross Crusader requires two um warrior monsters interesting how that works because all of these require two heroes whereas cross Cru uh, uh, cross crusader requires two warriors interesting right no not really all that much interesting they're, I mean, they're, they're still in the same venue i guess because the problem here comes into play of he's more so towards destiny heroes than anything else Whereas these, they, they point, they're, they're for heroes. Like, this this revolves around heroes. When Wonder Driver is summoned, you can go ahead and get yourself... And, uh, yeah, when Wonder Driver has another card, when another card is basically summoned in the spot that Wonder Driver points to, you can go ahead and get yourself a, uh, another fusion or uh, a change spell, you know, mass change, or, you know, whatever kind of fusion material kind of card you get. 
And then when great, uh, and then you can put put that uh, spell card, put that card face down or whatever. You feel me? Yeah, cool, awesome. But when Wonder Driver is attacked, killed, and destroyed, woo! You can summon any hero from your hand. Just special summon a hero. Now, unfortunately, it does not work with uh, Destiny Hero Plasma nor Dogma, so it's whatever because those require specific summon requirements. Specific, specifically, requires you to summon uh, sacrifice three monsters. It's like a god card without being a god card. Mmm, interesting. Cool. But either way it goes, so for these, I could use these to summon Dread Decimator. For my hero deck, I run two of each of these, so there's a total of six. Um, so I have two dress, Dread Decimators, two uh, Wonder Driver, and two Cross Crusaders. Pretty nifty in general, it's particularly because this is a hero deck and for the love of God, I don't have to buy any more, or order any more of these specific cards because I have freaking two of each. Grand. But yeah, that's how I explain Link Monsters. The easiest way to explain it is by using something that I already fucking use. Now, I can't explain Synchro Summoning other than the fact that it's Tuner plus another... Actually, I could explain it, but I don't think anyone cares. Link Summoning is the newest format, and it's... A, format that everyone like it's if you used to play Yu-Gi-Oh you're like I don't want to play because link summoning is weird I don't understand it oh I don't want to put those in my deck eh. I was kind of the same way but then when I played Legacy of the Duelist I didn't actually learn how to play it's easier to play when you're playing an automatic system than it is to play with you know trying to just learn it by yourself without an automatic system Automatic system rocks. Because you can literally see how the cards work in your deck. And then, you know, like, if you have a bunch of IRL cards, you can go ahead and build all those, IR take all those IRL cards and put them in the deck. Now, granted, Legacy of the Duelist does not have every freaking card in the game, which it should. Konami, 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 Konami. Like, they really need to give us some DLC for that. Free DLC? Paid DLC? I don't know. I don't really care. I'll pay for it anyway. <laughs> Personally, like, eh. the game itself costs like $40, $40 so that's cool. Because you get everything that you had in the previous Legacy of Duelist, but in the cooler factor, I guess, because you can have a handheld. So that's really awesome. Now, granted, Legacy of the Duelist is a Steam game, so technically speaking, you could just put it on a Windows, on a tablet that runs Windows, and you can play Legacy of the Duelist without the use of a Switch. But the difference is it doesn't have Link Summoning at all. And instead of them having Legacy of the Duelist as a DLC towards the console and PC version, Apparently, there's like a lot of intricacies with the code that is drastically different in consideration of the fact like their fucking rule set. Like, hey, look, the board is literally drastically different. There's link summoning, and that's an entire can of worms in itself. Like, how do you, how do you, you kind of just don't. <laughs> At least not with that product. Stuck on the. I to this. I'm gonna have to like pull all these out. Cause I have more than 50. <sighs> this is gonna go through all my sleeves. <gasps> Alright, we're gonna put all the white ones in here first. Oh, my Uncle Dave. Yeah, we're gonna put all the white cards in these cop sleeves first and then we're gonna get to the other extra deck cards. The reasoning being is well actually I don't really have them in to go to so I guess maybe not. Let's we'll still do so. And then we're gonna get to the uh XC cards. Alright let me just grab these real quick. Yeah. Alright so all of these yeah all of these are sleeved. The only one that's double sleeved are the limited edition ones, so that's cool. 
the rest of these are just kind of a sleeved and they're extra decked. So go ahead and put a bis dweller in there. Number one on one, silent honor arc. I think I probably mispronounced pronounced it earlier. I don't fucking know. Sky Blaster, Musketeer. I have other Musketeer cards actually when I think about it. I'll probably put that right there next to them. I don't know. If they're all the same attribute, then yeah. Oh yeah, let me sort these by attribute while I'm at it. So light and water. I'm gonna set these aside over here. Off screen. I say light, that's wind and water. Um, water. I'm gonna start these two right where are they? Dark, light, wind, earth, fire. Where the hell I put light? Hmm. Earth, fire, dark, light, dark, light. Dark, 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 water, earth, dark. Okay. Got a couple of sleeves. Take this wind monster, put it here. Grab these waters and put them there. Now I'll build the blue cards. Just the blue cards. Alright, this song sucks gives you balls. Where's my um phone? Oh, oh, not my phone. Where's the remote? If I can find the oh there it is. Ugh. The problem with um NS I mean NCS music is this a bunch of random crap. It's good background music, if anything, or elevator music. But it's good for streams, because streams will have a lot of dead silence, given the fact that, you know, like when I play games, I play games in silent. When I'm streaming, occasionally I'll probably say something, but I'll probably just remain silent, because chances are no one's really going to watch at all. They'll probably watch the VOD, but... At that time, it's not like I'm going to know, and I don't really, I mean, I care, but it's limited caring, like, very limited, called, I probably don't care. Oops, grabbed the wrong thing. Like, no one watches that, no, of course not. But I have a couple of friends who watches the, uh, my past streams. So those are the true MVPs, basically. Um, I don't know why I'm putting this in order when they're all going to go in this, like they're all going to go in the binder. Uh, I actually did not have to go through all the like it didn't require me to do all that much with these. Um. I think some of these were secret rare. Try and look at these before I put them up. I don't think so. Because if it's secret rare, I might double sleeve it. Depending also on the art coolness. There's a mermaid card that I have, and its art was freaking banging, so I might double sleeve it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm double sleeve this. I think there's a, uh, is there another card that needs to be double sleeved? I kind of want to double sleeve this uh, clear wing fast dragon because he's a fast boy. But I don't really have to. He just looks awesome! And he's a fast boy. So yeah, there's that. Now, this here mermaid is Nightmare Mermaid. Like, that's interesting. Eh, probably not going around. To, well, I should probably double sleeve it because the the where's the, if I can find another blue sleeve. Oh, 
No, we're, we're not going to do it. We're going to set those aside regardless. All right, so now we need clear sleeves. I need to put these up. Because these are going to stay for an extra deck. I had to buy another set of Kyber Corporation sleeves for my Cyber Dragon because, yeah, they're supposed to all be in this kind of sleeve. And I've not actually done that, so that sucks. I think all of these require clear sleeves. Yeah, pretty much. I might put like limited edition ones into some green sleeves, maybe. I don't really know. Oh, I didn't see these. They, um, I didn't see my cards either. She has one. A sleeve for vampire as well. Have a special sleeve. Because it's an extra deck monster. Although it's not rare. I think one of these is secret rare. Yeah, this one. So it's also going to get a special sleeve. I should double sleeve it. But I don't think I have any more red sleeves at all. Because now we're just picking red sleeves. The others get into clear sleeves because one they're not rare, two they're not rare. Well, three they're not. Limited edition, and then majority of limited edition monsters have some sort of rarity, like secret rare. Or ultimate rare because reasons. So these are cool. Kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, cat. I was supposed to see whether I have any more wolf cards, but I don't remember drawing any werewolf or wolf base cards at all. I'm rechecking the extra deck cards. I know the odd eyes card I have. I'm also going to give away. Wait, did? No, I didn't. Not give away like randomly, but to a specific person. I know who runs Odd Eyes. Or rather, I give him a bunch of Odd Eyes cards, so. Keep up the trend, basically. Um. Yeah, I'll, let me check this again. Well, I have an Atura Beast, but that's not really a it's something a chimera of sorts um not a kitty cat house cat kitty cat um because then i would also give all my leo looking cards away as well that's just that's a lot well not a lot there's like a few so it's like yeah, it's a bit much mm. yeah odd eyes pendulum dragon i think we're gonna put this because it's also limited edition so Did I log out? What the hell? So this one's going over there. Cyber's Magician should have been... Oh yeah, that's right. These things are clear sleeves. Even though... Well, I don't have a... See the blue sleeve to even put Cyrus Magician in. Alright, these guys go in the binders. Uh light and dark. So light dark. Alright, so
this up. Spell cards are put to side. This is part of the video where I'm just sleeping cards. No random math explanation about random shit. Oh, let's see that fail. Oh, I could have gave one of your cards a type of safe. Hmm. Perf. Ash Blossom. Oh wait, these ash blossoms are different. Well, of course they're different. <laughs> I'm like, wait, these have a different art. Like, right, wait, that's right, because the um, what's in the, what is the box? The dual devastators have it's entirely different. Like they have a bunch of um, where's the my remote? The other problem I have with NSC music, like I was saying earlier, is it's like a, it's, it's just random. Like it's not that much of a problem with it, except it's just like uh Huh. This is yeah. Not music I would ever like sit down and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna listen to this. No, God, no. Could you like uh, turn that alarm off? That was a thing. We know what it's for. I'm just staying in the Oops. <laughs> Did that backwards. Like fucking R and B almost, techno R and B, like uh, garbage. Like I like to, I don't like R and B. I don't make love with my Yu Gi Oh cards. This is weird. The first edition of this. Wait, where did all my dark go? Light months are just stacking high. <clears throat> oh. 
I wasn't supposed to sleeve the um, common, I mean not common, but the normal rare cards. They're, like, they're gonna go in the um, binder. They don't know, they don't necessarily need to be sleeved kind of thing. So it's more like, since I have a bunch of clear sleeves, I might as well. It's supposed to have 200, I think, clear sleeves. It's either 200 or 100 or 120, somewhere along those lines. It's easier to deal with, um, packs of cards, I mean not packs, decks of cards or whatever, when your sleeves have like 50 or more. Like, uh, if you buy some sleeves and there's like freaking 40 sleeves, my brain would basically go into like, so did you buy two of these? <laughs> like, it makes no sense to buy one set of sleeves that cover only 40 freaking cards. Like, uh, what realm of reality do you live in? This is mainly the part of the video where I'm taking cards out of sleeves that I originally had in sleeves because I was originally going to have them in a deck and now I'm like, oh wait, I can now make a hero deck. And that's what we're going to run with. Because heroes. Heroes were originally supposed to be one of the first decks that I built in the first place as far as when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. What I mean by got back into, I mean by actually fucking buying cards. But I have the funds for it, so why not? However, I need to like stop buying cards. Like, this is probably the most that I've purchased at once. Um, and not just ordered. Because, oh, it's around that. It's around that, actually. Cause like what, three containers of um, a bunch of cards. One of these is backwards. So these should go back in their original deck boxes, but since they're not down here, I don't know where I'll put these. We'll probably just leave them in the sarcophagus for now. Sleeve up some of these cards. Pretty pretty. Why are these on the side? Why are you on the side? Like, what the fuck? A random divine monster. I'm gonna put these aside for now so we like, so, um, let's try them afterwards. Oh, wait. Vanity Fiend and Majesty Fiend? I didn't know there was a Majesty Fiend until after I just double checked it and I was like, oh shit. They're both redheads. Hmm. Cannot be special summon. Neither player can activate monster effects. Cannot be special summon. Neither player can special summon. Monsters. Hmm. These are denier. Denying cards. Cards that deny. I'll probably give this to Redhead. <laughs> Our favorite Redhead, as. 
Zane Truesdale says. Side first, not put him speed it. It's easier to do that than this. Book of Eclipse. Typhoon, that's a beautiful looking card. Like, if you look at this, it's all shiny and shit. Like, that's a cool card. Uh, that's a card I need to put into a deck that doesn't have a bunch of er that, er that doesn't already have a bunch of spell and trap cards. When Gwing Kong face, I think I have like a bunch of regular decks that like that have a bunch of fucking spell and trap cards. So therefore, it's probably not a good idea. But it was... there can be only one. The surprising thing currently is I've not opened any the other sleeves, which is a good thing. However, it's probably going to end up being where I open those other sleeves. I don't think I have other clear cards. Oh, why is this ghost over ogre not in? Alright, let me be specific. There's certain cards in here that definitely need to be sleeved, like uh, Pronto. He's a limited edition. Uh. Oh, that's right. We have other cards that can be taken out of sleeves. I guess we'll do that. Those red eyes are so crispy looking. I think for this red eyes, because one it is a, it's a secret rare, and it's a crispy red eyes. Like that's a beautiful red eyes. It's alternate rare, for sure. But it's crispy. It's limited edition. Did I mention it's crispy? Put that right there for now. Um, I need a. I'm gonna double sleeve it, but I think these can. Go on the shopper. See if I can put this into here. It's Kaiba sleeve. It goes against my system, really. But if I can double sleeve it. Oh, it can. Good. Then I'll just use clear sleeve as a double. Perfect. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. That means I can double sleeve this one. Because I should have double sleeved this one anyways. Now I'm not double sleeving the Dark Magician or the... Uh, what's it? Neils that I put into my decks because... It'd be too obvious that it's that specific card, and that's not what we, how we play. This card, I might. I'm not sure if I'll give this one away. Is either I'll give it away, but if I do, it has to be like. I, I don't know. I know I'm putting it in the. I don't know. We'll set that to the side. Like, that's a very specific thing to do for that card. Now, limited edition Rageki and Monster Barn doesn't really matter. <laughs> they're limited edition though. Yeah, they're also uh, super rare. 
I don't care that much. Like, I don't even have, well, I do I have kind of sleeves one. But I don't see the logic. Why can't I put this in? What the fuck? Because my eyes. Clear sleeves are like so much a pain in the ass. Red reboot. I like that proud over. That's a pretty cool card. Saiyan's pride. Oh wait, this is the uh, Severus card. We'll keep this one on the sleeve. I was looking like, do I have another Severus card? Like I thought I did. And I guess it, it is. So, it's not ultimate rare, I mean, ultra rare or anything. But it is one of the doggy cards that I, that I was saying I was going to give away. Earlier, Savant the Keeper. Supreme King Kaiser. Dark Armed Dragon. This actually is supposed to be in a deck. I know what deck it's supposed to go into, so we're just gonna set that to the side. Because, like, it already came to mind when I seen it. Uh, originally, when I first um, placed it into a sleeve, because when we put it, like, oh yeah, we're gonna roll with this deck. It's a structure deck. I don't really care. The problem with structure decks, I don't like the idea of running with a structure deck purely as it is. In fact, structure decks are supposed to be to reinforce. Um, whatever deck you're using or use that as the base so well packs of cards are supposed to reinforce what you have because it's, it's random ass cards and then like oh well, this is going to reinforce whatever the fuck i have deck wise that's what that's what it's for because you don't really deck build with packs of cards unless you playing a certain rule set all right, so Dark Arm Dragon specifically goes into, or will go into, if I can get the cards out of here. Okay, fine. Yes, I get them cards. Lock. Oh, oh that's right. Black Lives Matter, what's at the top? So, for these, we have Ka Kaiba Sleeve. For this entire freaking deck box, basically. The problem is, since I already put a card in one of those cards, I'm probably going to take out of this. I forgot. We'll figure it out. Um, because, oh, it was that red eyes card that I double sleeved. Oh, I double sleeved this one. Hmm. Interesting. It's a Kaiba Corporation sleeve, so I don't have to really worry about it. There's cards that should be double sleeved is like... Uh, I think I'm going to double sleeve it now. Yeah. Because this is like the most powerful... S I don't know, I think we'll just leave it alone. Because the Kaiba version... The Kaiba 4000 4000 monsters. Oh, not Kaiba. Yugi 4000 monsters. 
single sleeve sleeved as well, so probably just leave it alone. Now this deck, or extra deck rather, has 15 cards or near. No, it's near 15, it's like 13. Now the deck. has Dark Arm Dragon. So, I should put Dark Arm Dragon in this deck. This other copy of Dark Arm Dragon, rather. Problem is, I don't think Dark Arm Dragon requires three Dark Monsters. And if I remember, it's exactly three. I have a couple of Dark Monsters in this deck. Uh, so it's two, three, four, yeah. I could put that Ally Justice card in here too, because if I, if I have a tuner in here, then I'm going to put Ally Justice in there. Call Ally of Justice over here to the side anyways. So I might just throw a tuner in here just to, just to do that. Well, if, if I do throw a tuner, it has to be like level 2 or some shit, because most of these cards are level 4. Look at that. I think that's a uh, gold secret rare. Obelisk of Tormentor. Like, so super shiny. It stands out way more than the um, raw that I have. It stands out drastically. What the fuck was I looking for? Um. Oh, a tuner. Let's see if I have a tuner in here. I don't think I do. I have a Union Monsters up the ass, but I don't think I have a tuner. I was saying if I have, do get a tuner, it has to be a... Yeah, cause I already have Allied Justice. I have two Allied Justice Monsters in here. So it would be wise to put the Allied Justice in here. Like, it makes sense. Like, hey, what is that? It's a, if it's a light monster. I mean, the predominant of this deck is light. But, <clears throat> Ally of Justice is a dark attribute anti-light monster series of machines. I think there's other ally cards that aren't machine, but I forgot. At the start of damage step, and then dark monster destroyed it. Are there any other cards that I want to put in here? I could put one of the Ash Blossom, one of these cards in here. That's an Ash Blossom. That rocket card, um, Booster Dragon requires rockets. And it's not machine anyways, and this deck is dragons, but with machines. Actually, since it is dragons, I could put dragon. Like any link that requires dragons, I could probably put in, squeeze into this. You could like that one card, but still. So, Ally of Justice will pretty much go in there with what? Vermilion Dragon Dragon Mech. Um, once per turn, you can bend one tuner from your hand, graveyard, or face up in the field. Oh, this requires a lot of tuners. I don't have that many tuners. And I definitely won't have that many tuners in this deck. I'm only going to have like one. Syn Dragon Synchro Pendulum Effect. I'm looking for a tuner. Spellcaster Tuner. Uh, Ally Justice is a one star. I mean a five star. So Effect Valor. Probably useful. I don't want to use Effect Veiler because he's a fairy. No, he's a spellcaster. He's a little hard fairy. Um, but yeah, he's a spellcaster. Land. This land monster is probably useful. He's a Cybers, but it doesn't require anything. Machine Synchro. Dawn. Dragstar. Unfortunately, it's like it's a FA monster, but I don't really understand how formula, um, how those formula cards work. I could put horse in this deck, 
because I have Dark Arm Dragon. I actually should put Horus in that deck in this deck, so we'll probably put Horus there. As a possibility card. Cause she should be a, a possible man. Zombie tuner. I already looked at the dark monsters. I'm searching for a tuner, 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 tuner. So all I need is one tuner. Uh, preferably a two star tuner. It'd be nice if a link monster, if there was a link tuner, that'd be cool. Obviously, I would definitely, like, if I had a Link Tuner, shoot. That's an automatic, hey, I'm using that. <laughs> Decode Talker Extended. Extended Flicks. Um, wasn't there a bunch of cards that aren't, oh, no, they're over there. Uh. Darkness. Um, right now I'm sorting um, first on its cards go. I s I'm still looking for a level 2 tuner. I might have to look for it later. I kind of really want to put the ally justice into my um, VWXID Z duck. Machine effect. Machine. Oh. Inspector Border. That's a cool card. Now, if he was a tuner, he'd be even cooler, but he's not. Unfortunately. Panker tops. Like, I have so many of those goddamn cars. I think I have, like, three. For no goddamn reason. Where's the light monsters? Oh, I moved him. That's why. Artifact Lancia. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was thinking of putting these in there. So, I need a level 2. Or I could run it with a level 5. It's for a horse. But I don't think I have a level 5. Where's uh, the deck? All right, so in order to run horse into this deck, I'm probably not going to be able to at all. I kind of, I really want to, but I'm probably not going to be able to. I'm going to use the land monster, put that in there, because it's a random ass cybers that doesn't require shit. Oh, I do have a level five. How many level fives do I have though? That's the question. Like if I have enough, then I could put Horus in here. Because Effect Veiler might as well just be in here. Like, it doesn't matter. It's a random ass card. Only problem is the um, sleeves. I don't have sleeves for. Shit, actually, I don't. <laughs> I don't have too many sleeves for much of anything. Okay, so. We don't want to have to reshuffle this, because we're going to have to, probably. I'll probably take Rollout out. Um, what else could I take out that wouldn't hinder this deck? I think, ro no, Rollout deals with effect, mo uh, it deals with game monsters, so Rollout has to stay. Final attack orders. All face up monsters on the field are change their tag position. Other positions cannot change. Wait. 
That's not useful. <laughs> At all. Like, I don't think that's useful. Here, in fact, I have two enemy controllers. I'm keeping enemy controller in this deck because it is a card that Kaiba would use, basically. So, Effect Veller is going to be. No, wait, not Effect Veller. Um, Dark Arm Dragon. No? Yeah, Effect Veller. But then. Well, yeah, because I already have, like. Well, I have dragons in this deck. I think Effect Veller. Probably the only tuner I could put in this deck, though. And I want to put a tuner in this deck. Oh, wait, these cards are hers. Not these two. Oh, it's a Thunder Monster, too? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I said I was going to probably give these fiends to her as well. Not sure. Uh, yeah, those. Okay, so, Dilemma, I have no idea, first off I gotta put, oh, those are, they're in their own sleeves, so, yeah, those, okay, yeah, so effect, it's either effect veiler, or, a, um, dark arm dragon, dragon deco, and, Decree go over here. So final attack order for Fagdeller or unless I can find another because I don't think I even have how many uh, I'm supposed to look how many five stars I have. I've only one. So technically I can't run horse in here. If I can find a two star that'd be great. A two star tuner that'd be great. Because I only have like one five star. Oh, two five star monsters, okay. But I don't know if that's enough to put horse into this. Um, deck. Effectively speaking. Technically speaking, I shouldn't do that because I can only put 15 cards in the extra deck anyways so that's I mean I could take some of these duplicates out if I do that then it won't matter so I do have duplicates 5 yeah 13 so I can only add 2 cards in here so I'll take 1 duplicate out um I have duplicates of XYZ Dragon Cannon. So, does that matter? We could say, fuck the law of devastation. You know how people find our nation. Plus, it's a common, anyways. Oh, I think I was on the way. X Metal Tank. I don't seem like I do. I don't. Okay, so a card needs to be behind us, so we'll put it in to the older one. And then its sleeve will be used with this one, because I was thinking of doubles, doubling up the sleeve. So now I'm going to double up the sleeve. Now, what's that doing? Okay, so I have space for three. I'm gonna just put all three of these in here. And we'll care about the tuner thing later. Um, also, I have this in attack order, don't I? Damn, these monsters are weak. The, uh, are these all twos? Yeah, these are all twos. Two machines, two machines, 
two whatever monsters. This is 22 and 323, so they expect if they go there. I don't think I have another horse anywhere, but we're gonna. I don't know, because he don't really need to go in here. I don't have any, like. Yeah, because I don't have any other. I don't have horse, black flame, dragon, anything. Like, I don't have anything of that series. If anything, he, he, horse could go into the. Um, he should go in. Actually, he should go into Cyber Dragon deck, to be specific, because that's where Ra is. At least put him with raw. For now, effect Veiler, which I don't really agree with putting him into this deck, but we're gonna put him into this deck because we just slid some to the extra deck. And since predominant of this deck is four star, yeah, that's how we're gonna roll. Kaiba theme decks. Kaiba heavy. Only one of the decks actually is functional. That's like the deck that you wouldn't even expect to be functional. Like, oh well, those won't really function. Yeah, it will. Too many goddamn cards in here. Or just enough. Oh, deck deck box itself is. It. All right, now final attack order. We'll just go over here. Cause I figure where the hell that came from. Horus, I said we'll probably go with Moon Dragon of Raw. Because Gambus or Raw is Raw's in the Cyber Dragon deck. Cyber Dragon deck is heavy. Heavily dependent in the machine category. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. Alright, I do gotta take one of these cards out. Swap out two, actually. If I'm gonna put um, Horace in here. The problem is, Horace is a little six star monster, which means I still need a two star freaking tuner. Like, probably not two star, because that would also mean that I have a bunch of, uh, I could actually just use a one star tuner, because um, Cyber Dragon is a five star. But, like, effect veil, you see, that's where this Wing Dragon Rise right there. So, probably just go ahead and throw them in here. It'd be great if I could find a fucking tuner. Because if I have a tuner, then that's lovely but the problem is cyber dragons rely on fusion so cyber cyber zyger is pretty much the only opposite i mean the thing around that like uh, this isn't a fusion also i got xc like, monsters but again rely on fusion i don't think i have a tuner that's a machine that's in here at all uh can I do much with level 3? It's like, if I get a tuner, it could be level 4, I think. Because I have a couple level 2 monsters, or at least one. Oh, okay, I have a couple. I also have a level 1, but that's only just that one, I think. So, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Looking through this, we have level 4, we have level 5. We seem to have more level 4 than anything. We know we have level 5 because, um... Cyber Dragon is level 5. This deck needs to... I need to take a lot of spells and trap cards out of here, actually. This deck is predominantly sending like in spell and trap cards. I like no monsters. Holy shit. I don't know. We're just gonna throw horse in here regardless. Yeah, we're just gonna throw horse in here. Cause the guy goes somewhere. He might as well be a raw. What is good, Glenn? Let me 
to go like this. Right. I have no idea where the hell I'm going to put Dark Arm Dragon. I'm going to probably just... Why not? I mean, he's not rare. He's sleeved, but don't need to be sleeved, and he's not rare. So, Dark Arm Dragon... Like the only deck I could put it in, I'm not going to, so. Yeah, who knows? Oh, put this over there. Put that to the side. I need to get back to saving these cards. Stop being distracted. Watch me get distracted again. Heretic Dragon. Heretics are also Egyptian based um, cards, they're based off of Egyptian deities. deities. Day. I actually like the heretic, um, the thought process that goes behind the heretic cards. I remember right, the majority, if not all of them, are dragons. So they're dragons and then they're Egyptian based. Like, that's cool. That's real cool. It'd be cool if I had a lefty driver, because I'm left-handed, but, <laughs> um, like that, I think that would really be cool. Seemingly, oh, wait, this is a tuner, and it's a one-star tuner. Right, and it was well, an earth monster. I was going to get excited again, like, oh, and it's a light monster, but it's an earth monster. Like, less than I can do it ahead of ourselves. Cyber Dragon deck, and the reasoning being is because there's other attribute cards in here, plus the fact that this deck needs monsters. It's a one star. I don't really have, like, it's, I'm gonna have to link it with a uh, synchro, synchro summon with, um, Cyber Dragon. The good thing about synchro summoning, it doesn't have to would be that it will be a specific one one ratio. I could still stack this with like oh uh, what is it? Righty driver with cyber furls and then put that with uh, one of the random ass other monsters or whatever. Like there's some there's a couple of different ways. So I just need to put her into the deck. Good thing is her sleeve is right here. Ah, uh, it's all sleeve out. That's cool, yeah. I'll put her. Underneath storming the air force. Alrighty. Um, I've not had to open neither turquoise nor white card sleeves. That makes me extremely happy. 
next cards that next set of cards or whatever that I add to the binder I'll do the unboxing for those on Instagram because they're singles they're not like oh wait oh oh no these are clear yeah there are single cards so I don't have to like specifically be like oh well I'm gonna do a big huge stream on it like no it's going to be on Instagram and then I'm just gonna just do the unboxing for it. I don't know about the sleeving. I don't think I need to put the sleeving on camera. Because putting cards in sleeves takes a lot of time. So that's why I stream it. Since I'm already going to spend the time on something, might as well share it. Sharing my dread, basically. So, what do I want to do? I need to put this Dark Arm Dragon somewhere. Alrighty, so all those have been sleeved. These are going with two people, so there. these are going to the binder, probably pretty much. Um, I need time to bear, bear this um, so they don't bounce around. So, I don't want to close up everything and then be like, oh, I need to. I need to use it. Actually, we can put. Yeah, we'll just close this. Got these 10 here. I think this is where it can be closed.
I don't know. I'll probably take this one downstairs. With the uh, Kyber one. Alright. So, these I need hard cover. I do have a blue sleeve. Okay, that's cool. Now there's something I want to double. This is a sleeve, hard sleeve. Where you know, this is the part where I'm putting cards into hard sleeves for personnel. These three there. These two kitty cats go opposite to each other. Or these are different. I use this spark one. Oh, that's right, because it's double sleeved. Shit. And then this one. Actually, I could probably double sleeve this one in with a card that she already has. This card, I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do with that. Alright, so... With these... It's interesting I have a Solomon Greek as a fox. Um, these two vanity cards go back to back to each other. What? What? Go ahead, I'm gonna shit. Just move that. And... Now you're driving shit. Yeah, right. Nigga, if you don't just put that, put that on the floor. Put that, put the game, put the device. Because other than that, you're gonna make it fall again. Okay, then what you got. Alright, um, how was I doing? That's right, I need to clear the tape off of this, is what I wanted to do before. Magic I, I don't give a shit. I would advise you to watch the uh, Aladdin fast, though, because I'll probably not have it anymore. It's Aladdin. I don't. It's Disney. I don't really. I'll keep this. No, I was going to do something else with it. You keep the DVD version. Well, there's two of them, right? Well, I don't know, because the other person probably doesn't have a Blu-ray, so I was like, eh. I know, I have, everyone who has a PS4 has a Blu-ray. You have a Blu-ray drive. I'm keeping the Blu-ray, probably. Yeah, because it, it plays... It, I don't fucking know. That, that machine I'll, plays... Basically, I'll have to find out whether or not they want a copy of L.I. I can hear you. Yeah, I would advise you to watch the Latin one first, though. I wanted to watch Aladdin with my nieces and nephews, or like anybody who actually is into Aladdin, like my siblings, my nieces and nephews, friends that like Disney, because it's not really something I would watch my, by myself, not really. Like I have interest in it because I watched it when I was little, but like 
Some people like to conversate about it. And some of the theories when it comes to Latin, I don't know why, like I should have been peeled this tape off. I don't know. Dang, I'll take shit on my hands. Um, how many do I need? Need one for this one. Um, that one's gonna be stacked into another sleeve. Like, um, one of these could be double. Well, no, it's not gonna be a secret rare. This is secret rare, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We can double sleeve. Yes. What was I doing? So my double sleeve rules are basically dependent, like limited edition and a rarity that's above ultra rare is basically like I could double sleeve. And also not a card that goes in a deck. If it goes in an extra deck, then yes. If it goes in a deck, then no. Because double sleeving is like for cards that are like, oh my god, this one card is so fucking astounding kind of thing. Limited edition, rarity higher than ultra basically. For special sleeves, it has to be an extra deck monster or just... That's only sleeve a half, but basically extra deck monster. Anything else would basically be in a clear sleeve. Um, I'm running low on clear sleeves, so what, I don't know. I need to put these into hard covers. So there's vanity, a witch, and a vampire will be back to back because they're both dark and they're both um extra deck. Monsters, so these two I can have back to back. I don't think I've put the previous cards that I gave her back to back at all. Maybe because I didn't really need to, like, well, I didn't think about, like, oh, well, maybe in the future I'll have more cards. Like, uh, So this vampire I have in my vampire deck online. Cyber's Witch, I don't use Cyber's cards. Surprisingly, I have a um, super, I mean that's super rare. That's surprising to me because, well I didn't expect to get. But the vanity. Don't put the vanity cards in there. I'll put the Solomon Great. But Solomon Great. Fire type fox and my own people. These. Probably not good. I well, I already doubled those. So. That's pretty cool. All right, these heart. Covered sleeves and stuff can get placed. Where's my lighter? Okay, back over here. I was gonna say, Where's my lighter? Alrighty. Um, 
This is not the end of the stream. This is where the pain in the ass crap comes into play. These do not go in, or will not go into this. this I don't know if I'm going to go that way. We'll find out. I might actually just put it back. We'll put it in the binder. This is the binder. For anyone who has never seen my UVO binder, this is my UVO binder. Put another box. Okay. This is my binder. So to start off with, we have a bunch of crap. I want to raise this like this, I guess. But then I'll have to have someone behind it in order to get away with doing that. But I guess I could sit like that. And then I'll start to put some right there. It won't, because that I can't turn the pages. And then you can only see like so far. So Oh well. Dark and lights field, that's interesting. Earth, I need to swap. Um, where's my earth cards? So, as the theme goes, I have to keep my extra deck cards in the same area. Four extra deck earth monsters thus far. Is there another? No. Four extra deck earth monsters, and they're all going to go in here respectively. Well actually this one will go in here. Are you the same space? No, obvious. Are you the same rarity? No. One secret rare does ultra. Ultra, yeah. So secret rare one is the obelisk. So it's gonna go above it. Because we wanna demonstrate. Um Cards we're taking out is lower rarity cards, so this and that pretty much. Yeah, because these other two cards. And then Leo gets taken out for Nutria Beast, so do that now. Leo's not even sleeved because it is just rare. I'm gonna put that aside. And the other page is just normal. It's a uh, effect monsters. Very specific where I want to put these. This is a machine. That one's a dinosaur. Not really. We'll swap the machine for where the machine was. Put the dinosaur where the insect was. That's how we're going to solve that. So those cards get evicted out of their domain. Fire. Now, thing with fire, I have two extra deck cards right here. So what we want to do is take something out. Who gets taken out? The OG cards are hard to stay for now. These are two white cards. I could have like white, 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 and then these two black ones. But then this one's white, so we could just put this there. Hmm. 
far across or some shit. I don't know. Well, for now, we're gonna move this. We're going to put Vermilion Mech Dragon. Is this a nine star monster? It is. I think it's. Yeah. I forget what Vermilion means, but it seems to be effective with red and a number nine of some sort. I don't fucking know. Vermilion Rousing Gun? Um, so we're gonna have a straight of white cards there, and then <coughs> we're going to put. Is there another? Is there any other fire monsters? Not that many. Then we're going to swap the ninja. Eh. I'm gonna swap the ninja and a fusion. No, we're gonna swap the ninja out. But we're gonna move the fusion. Up oh, one. This one's on right anyways. I should actually have him right on there, personally. But oh well. You know, fire monsters. Turn the page. Oh look! Fire monster slots. That would be occupied. So what we're going to do here is dominate by uh, rarity, basically. All these in my hand are hollows. So we got a secret rare, two ultra rares, and a super rare. The cool thing is they're all in order. The bad thing here is I don't really have a place to put any of these. Um, I think I'm gonna put the alternate art in front. So actually, yeah, we we'll just move you out. Good thing everything else is cool hollow. Yeah. This dude isn't. So we're going to put Ash Blossom there. We're going to put the ninja underneath her. Now this is the entire page of wind. There's wind slots. Um, where's wind? Did I already do with wind or no? It's right here. Okay, so wind has five cards. So four of these will go into the slots, and then one of these cards will be taken out of here probably if it's a rarity of super or lower is getting moved unless it's part of the same theme of another set of cards which fortune chariot is not because all of these are bugs and shit so and a witch well fortune lady is also fairy is also there so mm -hmm. fortune Oh, that's battery dying. Oh, we're putting the spell channel right here. I'm gonna put my phone on charge.
too much weight to go to the court. Alright, that should balance out, maybe. Hopefully. Come on, I don't rock it or anything. Let's see, is there a way for me to scrap this cord? I'd say technical difficulties. There's more of user error. Fuck. Still. I think this is supposed to be. Let me turn this upside down. I think this is backwards. Well, not really backwards. So I made a claw of sorts, which isn't all that sturdy. Actually, I'm gonna end this part of the stream and then we'll do the rest of it on Twitch or something.